So we have the tarot cards, we have evidence, and clues. So I'm looking at clues right now. Let's start with that. So spoilers. <laughs> I'm assuming that you've seen the ending, okay? I have a question mark here, so we need to find out what that is. Discarded signage? Chapter 9, Scrapyard. And then it's Hackett History. Okay, what do we miss there? Ooh, we missed a lot. We missed six. Trail cam, no swimming sign. Okay, we don't have the no swimming sign. Box of matches. I don't know if I found that one. Chapter 4 again. Oh, I'm excited now to play through it again. Because <laughs> I love collecting things. Sean says that that's a typical uh, PS2 gamer mentality. Or like retro gamer mentality. Because he says old games didn't have much going for them except collecting things. So if you like collecting things and completing games, you're probably like an old school gamer. <laughs> okay, box of matches. Triggered bear trap. Miner's lunchbox. No, lunchbox. Um, I did miss one piece of evidence, I know. Yes, there's one question mark. So what evidence did we miss? Empty vial. Oh, the one in the tree? Oh, that's dirty. I found it, but I found it as Dylan. So then it doesn't count? I need to find it in chapter one? That's stupid. I still found it. I just found it in like chapter nine or something. And then the last thing we need to look at is the tarot cards. That's on the right. Oh god, we need so many! Ugh. Um, Prologue, The Fool. The Magician, I don't have. Chapter 4. So far it's like one card every chapter that I don't have. Chapter 4, Emma, The Island. Oh yeah, I also turned on the rewind feature for this one. So we're gonna try and save everyone and if something happens, especially the shooting, there's actually, I found a setting. You can actually turn on a setting that every shooting sequence will be an automatic success. It was tempting. <laughs> For now, I just did, I turned on aim assist and rewind. You know, after thinking about the game more, I think the main, well, obviously the writing is very poor, um, but I think the big mistake they made for this one is that there's just too many characters. Because if you think about it, Jacob has the whole thing, like he swims for the car part and then he gets uh, abducted, which is all fine. But then after that, his, his character is done. He does absolutely nothing. Then Max makes sense in the beginning on the island, but then once he turns back, he does absolutely nothing. Abigail has her moment in the shower in the pool house. She does one thing and either dies or, or lives. But then after that, she basically does nothing. Nick turns and then does nothing. There's too many characters that they just didn't know what to do with. And they were kind of just like, well, that's it for that character. And they basically just don't do anything for the rest of the game. Dylan and Caitlin, they have like an active part until the very end. Emma has like one redeeming part where she has the silver shell that she rolls under the door. So she has something at the end. Ryan goes to the family. He stays with Laura. Oh yeah, he, he and Travis and Laura have a thing until the end. I think Abigail and Nick, Abigail, Nick and Jacob basically didn't have to be in the game. If you think about it, you could have given the things that they do to other characters and it would have been completely fine. But yeah, uh, okay, cards. The moon, got it. The chariot, got it. The world, don't have it. Is there a way for Dylan not to lose his hand? Yes. Um, so Dylan can not lose his hand if we choose to keep cabin 10 locked. Cause then the group can't hide, I think. But I think I'm gonna have to take off his hand anyway. Um, because I do want to have this, I want to get the stuffed animal in cabin 10, so I have to open it, which means that Dylan is going to get bitten. Choose not to amputate, but then he's, 
But then he gets infected, right? I don't know if that means he transforms and kills someone later in the night. When does he turn if he's infected? Yeah, I, honestly, without the music, it's kind of more realistic. <laughs> it makes it feel more realistic. Um, he turns in the scrapyard. Ooh. Does that make it much harder for Caitlyn? She gets away anyway. Why'd you kill the music? I think you're not. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, Max, We're there's this thing called now. copyright. <laughs> like <an L> word? <laughs> Lesbians? Lost, Max. We're lost. We're just we're in geographic flux. <laughs> right. So why'd you kill the music? Lost. That's debatable. Should I turn off the brightness? I it's think it looks okay, but people were saying that it's yeah, too honey, um. Nice catch. Thank you. Too dark. Man, the roads are definitely getting worse out here. I guess it's all part of the rustic summer camp experience. Oh, right, that's where we're going. I lost track like 200 miles ago. 200 miles ago, huh? He tells her to run. Oh. Should we go for that then? You know what, Max? Do we want to see make you any werewolf less of Dylan? A man. You know, if Columbus hadn't gone lost and landed on these golden shores, there would be no United States of America. Goodbye, hot dogs. See you later, apple pie. Columbus never actually landed in North America. What are you talking about? Didn't even know he wasn't in Asia. Are you serious? Let him turn. Just another guy who didn't want to admit he was lost. Do you well, think? Well, just another guy who's got a whole day named after him. So Caleb shows up, or you know the bit God, in the lodge where Caitlin fights Caleb. Does Dylan do anything <laughs> there? I'm working on it. Like, what does he do after he turns? Where does he show up? What is that? Yeah, yeah. No, but seriously, how what happened to the, the normal map? This is the normal map. He just the stays the in the scrapyard. He does nothing. No oh, so that's... Of course not. So taking off, not taking off his hand basically guarantees that he survives then. see, so we are... Well, I guess they don't put summer camps on maps. Have you seen any signs for it? Interesting. Hey, eyes on the road! Oh. It is a werewolf on the road. I never realized, now that you know what they look like. Can Dylan turn back? He should, yeah, because we'll kill Silas in the end. So anyone who turns will be fine in the end. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. I did I did like that. I did no, like no, that no. she Jesus walks Christ, by basically was. Silas's cage. What? Where he sleeps. No, no, Max, I wasn't a bear. And was when you do that in the beginning, when you walk by it, you have no idea. Oh, are you serious? Travis confirms it was Silas. I don't know. I think Caitlyn gets bit really if Dylan like, is really infected. Close, but maybe we didn't... Yeah. Does she? You can't lock Caleb in the freezer if you kill Silas. Isn't killing Silas at the very end? I really have this car up. Well, maybe it looks worse than it is. Uh... I should check out the damage before we try to start it up again, huh? Could you grab Caitlin my, uh, gets bit if you fail last deal in QT. Well, that's fine then. We can... We should be fine for QTs. The QTs in this game are ridiculously easy. I don't know why they got rid of using all the buttons. Maybe accessibility? 
Maybe they wanted to make it easier. It's not so bad. My mom's gonna kill me. Do we need to give him a tool? Let's not snoop this time. See what happens. Thanks, huh? Yeah. Do you need a hand? Yeah, actually, if you could just shine a light right here. Here you go. Perfect, thank you. <laughs> Sooner we get out of here, the better. Just picture yourself curling up in front of a big old fire pit singing campfire sing-alongs. I don't think people curl up right in front of big old fire pits. Why not? Uh, they don't want to catch on fire. And then picture yourself curling up in front of a big old space heater. Well, Caleb is going to be stuck in the freezer because okay, I want to just see here. that. I want to see what happens. Um... Wait, is this a different thing? Oh yeah. It is the... Uh, miss. I'm still gonna say Miss Palmer. Laura Palmer's mom. <laughs> I, I forgot. Eliza? Eliza, yeah. Just over here. Just stay there for a second, okay? I'm almost done. You're not gonna come with me anyway. Oh, you're not the boss of me. I just don't want you wandering off on your own. Excuse me. That's not what I meant. Yeah, better not be. I, I'm sorry. I, I really gotta concentrate for a second, okay? okay? Yes. <laughs> Look, I think there's someone down there, okay? What's that? They could be hurt. I'm gonna go check it out. Okay, so there's a card here. After she drops down. Good idea, Laura. So thoughtful of you. And the lady has been dropped. Fool card. So is it just going the other way? Ah. We got it. The fool. I wonder who this- Oh, they all reset! What?! Oh, that makes everything a lot harder. Wait, does that mean I can't ever get everything in one playthrough? I should be able to see achievements for a game, right? Ah, uh, here we are. So it says 90% gather all evidence. So there's- there's a piece of evidence we missed in chapter 1. And that's the last piece of evidence we need. So if we get that and the, the achievement gets filled in, then... We know that we're fine. It's weird that all the other games, it just carries over. I don't see why it would be any different for this one, but at least we have the fool now. Okay, that was the only thing we missed in the prologue. So now we can just go through the motions and get to chapter one. Silence. Oh, hi. <laughs> she just walks through the woods like, yeah, 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 whatever. <laughs> I like that a lot of people appreciated my alpine lover joke in this segment. <laughs> Oh, she was there, yeah, for a flash. There she goes. Silence. I kind of miss that it's not like Y, X, Max? B, A. Max? Max! Hey, hey, why are you shouting? Oh my God. What? Ooh, 
She was there too. Hmm. Cool. What the hell was that? Mm-hmm. Little differences. No, but I heard something. Let's just get out of here. <laughs> Come on. Here comes Travis. Oh God, I thought you said you checked it. I did check it, and it was fine. Honey, I know you're on edge, but you gotta calm down. Okay? I am not on edge, Max. I'm freaking the fuck out. It was probably just an animal or something. <laughs> no, it wasn't an animal. She was past the edge. <laughs> this isn't helping. All right, go. There we go. We're good. See? Please just get us out of here. Okay. Ugh, one of my Max. nightmares. I'm trying. I'm trying. Getting your car stuck somewhere is just awful. I had that happen okay. once with snow. We're safe in the car, really. We're where I okay. tried to, oh. I had to like back into oh the driveway, God, but there's like a there's Hold like a down. patch of grass next to the driveway where oh, like sir. if we ever had Are friends visiting, they would park there. So I would injured? often really use that fine. space we're to like turn the out. car. And then one time I backed into that oh. patch, and then the car got stuck in the snow, and I was like, Oh my God, what do I do? How do I get the car out of here? <laughs> and I had to like had to like dig you out the snow around the tri tires and then it finally had enough grip to go but that was legit like a panic yeah. moment to be like um, oh my god I'm stuck here forever I'm never gonna get the car out of here <laughs> we um uh, something jumped out right in front of the car and we didn't want to hit it so we swerved and now here we are Something jumped out. Didn't really jump out, but I'm sorry. It was, it was so dark. I'm and going for the so fast and Laura and Travis are friends route, so I'm just being honest they, and stuff. Ma'am, did you hit someone? No, no, God, no. Of course not. You know, I mean, I don't think so. I don't. I don't know. Sir. I can't believe how, I guess, Sir? like, you know, facial expressions are one of the hardest things in games, but sometimes this looks so good that I'm like, holy fuck, those facial animations. And the other times I'm like, where are you looking? <laughs> what is this doofus look? <laughs> Thanks, Travis. Voice acting so good. Laura is really good, yeah. Well, she's also just the most interesting. I know she's actually one of my least favorite me. characters. Just what in the hell you are doing all the way out here. But that also makes her like the more interesting one because she's the one who's like she goes from this like really cute girl, like really innocent here, but then she's suddenly really badass and really like out to kill and then she goes and then she turns into like the mom's dress and she's more like okay let's just get this over with like she has the most character changes throughout the game um we're heading to camp we're heading up to hackett's quarry summer camp we're new counselors you're one night early no, no oh yeah no. um but we figured we'd get in early and scope it out, you know? I mean, they know we're coming. We called ahead. And to be honest, sir, one of us kind of oversold their navigation skills. And ah, was... and Travis knows they didn't call ahead. Because he would know that Chris is in no state to accept them. You're not going to make it to Haggett's quarry. Not tonight. He knows they're lying. Harbinger Motel. It's the nearest place you can bunk up there for the night, okay? Uh, I think we're just gonna stick to the plan, sir. I mean, Mr. Hackett knows we're coming and we called ahead. No, ma'am, you're gonna head to the Harbinger Motel. Do you understand? Um... Okay, fine, yeah. We'll head to the motel, understood. Uh, there's just one small problem. 
I forgot to spring for the middle of nowhere coverage plan on my phone. What he means is we're lost completely. <laughs> All right, ma'am. Step out of the vehicle. Who Wait, leaves what? voicemails in 2022? Tons of people do. I just want to I mean, show I you don't, but I get, to the motel I get voicemails all mouth. the time. Okay. For sure. Son, remain in the vehicle. But I definitely wouldn't be the person, if I leave a voicemail saying I'll arrive early and I never get a response, I wouldn't do it. I would need to have the place I'm going to confirm that it's okay to come a day early. I definitely wouldn't just go anyway. Okay. So, we... Are yeah. right about here. Lying is definitely not Marvin his strong Motel. suit or covering for his brother, yeah. Here. <laughs> right. There's so okay. many things Where he could have said to convince them. Well, he could have just been like, Ma'am, Chris Hackett is my brother, and I know he there. couldn't have said that it's okay for you to come today because it's still hunting season. Today's the last day. It might be dangerous. No one is allowed around the lodge just in case. Done. <laughs> Trail them to the motel. Escort them there. Harbinger Motel. Stay on the road. Wait, but, but what if there's someone out there? Yeah, I'll have a look. Good night. Good night. <laughs> He's so slow. <laughs> I like the lights coming off the car. Why is this guy just sitting there? Hmm. I guess not pick a fight with Max. Major weirdo the dude needed like at least a dozen showers. Oh my god, I know. What was up with the thing? Did I you see was, that? Was it blood? Nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. <sighs> All right, let's get back on the road. Yes. I think I've had enough woodland encounters for one night. Thank you very much. Agreed. So where's this motel? Okay, so we're here, mm -hmm. and the motel is here. Okay. But we're going here. What's there? Hackett's quarry. Mm-hmm. <laughs> How'd you do that? I don't know. I kind of tricked him into showing. <laughs> Very slick. Are you sure we shouldn't just get to the motel and just listen to this guy's advice? Honey, you really want to listen to the advice of some creep-ass cop who told us in the middle of the creep-ass woods to go to some creep-ass hotel? No, that yes. sounds terrible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! If he called me ma'am one more time, I was going to shove that badge up his dick hole. <laughs> Seriously, do I look like a ma'am to you? i got like 20 years before I'm a ma'am. Mm-hmm. What? I 20s debatable. Easy. I mean, I'm kind of into mams. Okay, we're done. <laughs> You're done. You gotta be kidding me. There's nobody here. We drive all the way the fuck out Max, here. Max, can we just look around before we jump to conclusions? Did you actually even talk to Mr. Hackett or did you just leave a message? You know, What's the difference? This, this is the difference. It's actually not that bad. You could just sleep in the car. Hello? Just lie down across the back seat. How was I supposed to know that? If I was I mean, broke, that's probably what I would have done. Yeah, or it's just an abandoned car and this is a complete waste Why of time. Why would there be an abandoned... I'll be yeah. at the car. Max, come on. Max, don't be a dick. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um... Okay, so what happens if we just go to the car? I love how they set that up. Like, the door in the back is, like, slightly glowing. It's like, come to me. You know you want to check out this door. Get in the car. Get in the car, Laura. 
You know you want to. Hey, Max. Can you open the door? I want to leave. <laughs> I tried. We can't leave even if we want to. This is still the prologue, right? I don't have to be worried about missing anything yet. I heard sounds. Oh, Chrissy boy. I'll be right back. I'm gonna get some help. Max! Max, get over here! What's going on? There's somebody in the bunker. I think they might be stuck. Stuck? Is it Mr. Hackett? I, I don't know. Just bring some tools so we can break the lock. Hey, I'm back. Yeah, Chris just ate there. Ian. Yeah, <laughs> the sheep. Hey. Wait, what, what are these? I don't know, you just said tools. Why, why didn't you just bring the... Look, there's someone in there. Um, I'm not seeing anyone. Wait, no, look. I'm looking, I am. Let me see. There, the close-ups are really good, there. yeah, the eye. Okay, okay, so... Wrench is apparently. I didn't know that, but so many people in the comments on YouTube were like, you sure? Yeah, it's like a really well-known trick. Saw it online. Yeah, apparently. saw it online. I didn't. Bizarre Damn. that that works. You need a hand? Yeah. <laughs> Poor sheep. You've seen the evil dad, right? <laughs> Oh, I need to watch that again. Hello? I, um... I read Interview with the Vampire in six days. I flew through that book. And then uh, we watched the movie last night, and immediately after finishing hey, the book, I was like, okay, good. movie now. <laughs> the movie's really, really good. The movie's really close to the book and really faithful to it. There's like some obvious changes to save time, but the main story beats and the main like message it wants to convey is still the same. Which is so good. And I looked into it more this morning. So I'm keeping a book journal now. So I write in my book journal what I've read and um, what I thought of it and like maybe a favorite quote or something. So that's the sheep. Ah. Max? Let me see. Um, yeah, I was looking up information on it and I was like, oh my God, it's written in 1976. That's so long ago. Um, that book is almost 50 years old and it still reads so well. Hun, maybe it was a possum or something. No, there was there was someone here, I swear. Um, but I was also really happy to find out that it's Anne Rice, kind of the night, writer of the know? book, also loves the movie. Let's just get so I'm to like, the motel. Oh, we they did a good job. First thing in the morning, we can check everything out, but... I mean, you must be exhausted. I know I am. I think our imagination... Max? What? Help. 
I think I'm bleeding a lot. I think it doesn't really matter what you choose here, but trying to go for like good relationship status. Yeah, Tom Cruise as Lestat is perfect. He's my favorite part of that movie. Be nice. Ugh. I had acup acupuncture in my neck uh, last time I went to see my chiropractor, and it was so weird. She put it like right in my skull. He must be shooting at shooting at Chris Does this now. Look like the goddamn Harbinger Motel to you. Or he either shot Chris to try and like get him to back off or he shot Max thinking he killed him but then it turned out he actually was still alive so he had to put him in the cell before he turned. Maybe. This makes it... the silence makes it seem so much more like serious now. <laughs> It was at Chris. They mentioned it in the jail. Ah. He wasn't using silver bullets. I see. Wow. Silence. <laughs> the quarry. Okay. That was the prologue. Chapter one. So there's a bunch of things we can get in this chapter. Five things. One tarot card, one evidence piece, and then Hello, three clues. Friend. Welcome to the show. We are friends, aren't we? Oh, that music is out of it now as well. I've waited wah, for you. Wah, 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 wah. I've waited. The place. Yes. So I do hope our time together proves enlightening. There's no need to worry. I'm here to help you. Think I'm sad that she doesn't play a bigger part in this game. Unknown. It's exciting, yes, and terrifying. But because she like all she does is like read the card description, you basically. Help you, I can help you. We can help each other. Oh yeah, we didn't get this before. This is the card you found. The fool. I wonder who this is. We all know a fool when we see one, don't we? Innocence and freedom. Or recklessness and risk-taking. Spontaneity. Actions without thought, but the consequences to match. Think. Think. And don't Ooh. get burnt. I scratched it what I was thinking. Ooh. I can show you more if you'd like me to. Oh. This is what might come to pass. A possible future. A path yet unchosen. Look here, look here. She's so cool, but she doesn't really do much. Whoa. There are secrets out Wait, there, is that you know? if you steal the other part? It just secrets puts the sets the car on fire. Paths to uncover on which I can shed light if you let me. Help me help you. And remember, <laughs> what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Uh-huh. Break the fuel thingy. Should we try that? Should we try the other thing? See if we can put the car on fire? We're not going to use the car anyway! Fuck! That that really frustrates me, that you can put so much effort as Jacob in keeping that part on you, and then it doesn't matter. Oh well. Um, we need to find 
the hunting notice, the camp plaque, and the camp song recording. Then the vial in the tree, I know where that is. I don't know where the temperance card is. Oh, that was the, the kitchen one, I think. Let's see. Makes you realize how much music is in the game. <laughs> Hi kids! See you later! Bye! Laters! Peace and love! Oh See Nick. you later kids! Yeah! Hackett's quarry forever! Temperance. <laughs> Jacob Kitchen. Yeah. You know how many hearts are broken on the last day of summer camp? It's like a romance apocalypse. Um... You never know. <gasps> I mean, you never know. The universe has a kind of way of uh, working these things out. The universe? Yeah, like the uh, the cosmic space gods. Space gods. You heard me. Okay, spell it. It's nothing to spell. You know, we're cool. <laughs> oh, so cool. We are super cool. So she dumped her ass, huh? Oh, Hi, hey! Have you guys seen Jacob IRL? <sighs> okay, this is um, very good looking. You've heard of spatial awareness. He's before, uh, right? spatial awareness is for nerds. He has like a beard and uh, everything. Be in line and grab the last couple of bags, will you? Yes, boss. Say hi to Emma for me. You're a bad person. Yes, I am. <laughs> okay, hold on, Jacob. I'm looking at the clues. Hunting notice. Lodge parking lot. Okay, so that's right here somewhere. I wonder what's killing the deer. Okay, a notice that indicates the local deer population has decreased in recent years. Oh, hunting season has been suspended. Oh. So then the hunting thing wouldn't have worked. Jesus Christ. Hi. Hey, are you guys going to help with the bags or what? <laughs> oh, um, you know, I was actually just working on fixing uh, the door. It's... Dylan, come it's on. It's broken. Dylan, please. I can't. It's, it's... I gotta get the last bag in here. Come on. <laughs> this thing is just... Dylan, please. I think Dylan is my favorite character. <laughs> cool. Thanks, guys. There it is. 1953. Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp established way back in 1953. Still going strong today, nearly 70 years on. Okay. Oh, I should mark them off, actually. Hunting notice. Camp plaque. Camp song recording is next. That is as Abby. Stairs of cap cabin eight. Okay. We need to go to the kitchen next. How did we get in again? Was it through a window? Oh, it's it's through the window that Caitlin closes later. Oh. That's the window that Caitlin closes in like chapter 9. Do you know if you does anyone know if you leave the window open does a werewolf come in through there? Emma's bracelet in the parking lot if you want it. It wasn't in the guide. There it is. Temperance. To be balanced, to consume in moderation, or to indulge. Temperance. Take it or leave it. But remember, sometimes with temperance comes deferred gratification. Hmm? Is it path? Oh. Is that the freezer? Oh. Man, that's a bad place to get stuck. Oh. It's 
So that's where we do that. Okay. Oh, I can just get out. <laughs> oh, double skill. So where is the bracelet? I'll get it. I feel like I'm only now discovering like horror books, really. I've always like played horror games, watched horror movies. Somewhere around here. Don't see it. Or is it talking to Caitlin? Oh. There it is. Okay. Um This is Emma's. I've always like I've liked reading fantasy and I've liked reading science fiction. But for some reason I never really tried many horror books. I, I read like when I was younger, I read like um I Am Legend, which was really good. And I read The Ring, I remember reading. And that's about it. And now recently I've been trying to read more and I've really discovered like I really like reading horror and it's really fun. And I just fly through books now. And it's like, why have I never in my life realized that I like horror so much that I would like reading it too? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Um, one of my latest favorite things to do is putting on noise canceling headphones with rain. <laughs> with rain and like soft violin or piano through it. And then just reading. Like completely blocking out the world basically and just reading. So nice. <laughs> Did I enjoy this more than Until Dawn? No. Until Dawn is a perfect game that will probably never will probably never get right. another good game like that Got in the, the same vein. Great. All by yourself, huh? Yep. Guess you're gonna have to get used to that. Oh my god, you are so mean. <laughs> At least I'm honest. Oh, okay, here we go. Okay, you're not telling me the whole truth about you and Emma, are you, son? I do like the game. I don't hate it. I obviously am replaying it because I like it, but Until Dawn is just so good. Oh, okay. So now I'm the one who's not telling the whole story, huh? <laughs> oh, well, this is the bait I just got to take, Jake. Oh. oh, sorry. I just got so distracted about that rhyme. I forgot what we oh, were. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, <laughs> you, you were telling me how you... Totally have a thing for Ryan. I think Caitlin and Dylan are Wait, the best are we talking about Ryan, characters, the or I like them the with most. The sexy brooding loner thing that totally doesn't do anything for me at all. Mm-hmm. <laughs> ah, sexy, huh? Hottest at camp by far. Okay, sure. <laughs> Look, it was all settled by the girls in bunk seven, like second day of camp. It goes Ryan, me of course, then Dylan, Emma, Abby. Okay. Nick, and then Mr. H. And <laughs> okay, are you almost finished? Please. Yep, that's it. That's everyone. So she really just dumped her ass, huh? I don't... Okay. Her whole thing is like, how are we going to make this work? Different schools, blah, blah, blah. My whole thing is like, you know, maybe long distance, blah, 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 blah. And she was just like, Jacob. She gave you the look, huh? Yeah, do not pass go. <laughs> Man, she has got you wrapped all the way around that dainty little finger of hers. How does she do it? Brave. Oh, but I mean, seriously, come on, she's right. It's just like a stupid summer fling. What else did I think was gonna happen? Uh, let's see. Uh, love, stability, engagement, marriage, house, kid, affair, kid, divorce, loneliness, child support, visitation lawsuit, mm. surprise reconciliation, empty nest, retirement, grandkid, 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 uh, nursing home, and finally, dying in each other's arms and then being buried in each other's arms like those thousand-year-old skeletons they dug up in Rome or something. Okay, Caitlin. Oh, shit, I'm sorry. That was Ryan and me. Uh, let me see. Ah, here it is. Yours just says... Roadhead. Oh, actually, that's just a generic all-men list. 
That seems legit. Wait, what does roadhead mean? Okay, so are we sure that this... That was a lot to digest, already? Caitlin. We'll take a look. It better be. One more night in the great outdoors might actually kill me. Hey, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Well, I haven't killed you yet. And you're still pretty pathetic. Hey, shut up. Blowjob on the road. Oh, <laughs> that's what that means? Oh. I didn't know. Uh, okay, so, um... Total hypothetical, but if I was like a huge asshole and I wanted to break down the van so we'd have to spend another night here. I can't believe this uh, doesn't exactly lead to anything either. To well, you'd probably break the fuel line or, I don't know, rip out the rotor arm. You know and that yes, moment that in Until Dawn where the whole group gets okay, together and, and they're like, rotor arm look oh like my god, again? Emily got it's scratched. Like She's going to turn into one of them. And then you know, the whole group has like this big thing of like, what do we do? I really thought that they were going to have a thing like that where the whole group gets together and it's like, Jacob is the reason we're here. Jacob sabotaged the car. Trust me, chick's made up her mind. And there's nothing. Yeah. Sure. I guess we'll just have to find out. And he doesn't re redeem himself by fixing the car either. Uh, let's break the fuel line this time. Oh, this looks important. Let's set the car on fire. I will hook you right back up tomorrow. Okay. Pinky <laughs> promise. Can you imagine? Up here, my dudes. Why did they look like they're up to something? Hey, Jacob. What? No, dude, please. D d d d long. Oh, dick. Dude, it doesn't even matter. You won't use your phone once. Oh, oh. there it is. Oh, Ooh. man, good sight. Ooh. Freak. Oh. Oh. Ooh, I wish I had some singles. Oh. Freaks. I'm surrounded by freaks. <clears throat> oh, thank God. I'm going to get the whole no technology thing, but take me back, world. You would have thought Mr. H could have, like, charged up her phone. Mr. Like H gets less bit. angry with the fuel. Oh. No evidence for fuel you know, line. We already have really the evidence for of the body, only. so. <laughs> Unless, of course, We're good on that. being dumped an emergency. <laughs> oh, Ben. <laughs> uh, okay, well, at least I had a relationship this summer. Ooh, damn. Now we burn. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe not everyone is looking for a hook. Okay, okay, okay. Let's all put our little dicks away and get this show on the road, huh? Where's everybody else? Why, why would I know that? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you know stuff I don't. Look, I don't, I don't even know how to respond to that. You say Nick. Yeah, I reset our evidence, but I'm still hoping that okay, yeah. the thing you turn, you turn. that will, will make or break it will be the vial in the tree as Abby. So that's next, I think. When we pick up that vial in the tree, that's the last piece of evidence that I didn't get. So I'm wondering if getting that, if I get the achievement, then it still counts. If, it, if I don't get the achievement, that means that you have to get everything in one playthrough, which would be kind of shitty. Is she drawing Emma? Hey there, party bear. Status report? We are officially empty nesters. High five up top. <laughs> oh, They're so boy. cute. You're about to get your phone back, aren't you? Let's go collect our bags and away from this mosquito-infested backwoods dump. Doors locked, bags inside. <sighs> Fuck me. Yep. Well, it's obvious what we have to do here. Find someone with a key? Shape our destiny. And by shape our destiny, I mean shape our way through this crappy lock and grab our bags. I'm gonna break in. Okay. Let's do it. Because I want this stuff toy. Trouble. I won't tell if you won't tell. Mr. Hackett's gonna find out. So what? He'll just think it was a bear or something. Have you ever seen a bear in these woods? No, but that doesn't mean they're not out there. Fair point. <laughs> All right, let's do this. On three. One. Two. Three! Ugh. That door breaks oh, easily. Oh, the power. Of positive thinking. Why do I ever listen to you? Because I'm always right. 
Are you sure they're gonna think it was a bear? Oh, my God, relax. It's not like we killed someone. All right, well, I'm just gonna take another look around, make sure we didn't miss anything. Go nuts. Let's get it. Aw. This was little Izzy's. Here we go. I wanna play a game. <laughs> uh, keep it. Let's get you back to Izzy. Everything fits in that tiny backpack. <laughs> There's no way that fits. <laughs> okay. I got it. Um, then, let's see, we need the camp song recording, that was by eight, then the vial in the tree and the temperance card we got, right? That was the card in the kitchen. There's eight. Dylan is not going to be happy that the kids just like this one. <laughs> I'll talk. According to the... The recording of the Hackett Square camp song from years gone by. Technology may have moved on, but the song remains unchanged. That's about it when we see him. That's it? Oh, I thought we were going to actually hear the song. Next to one of the beds in the cabin. Okay. Let me get this piece of evidence. What Ouch. does it say? So Jacob hasn't seen this. <sighs> Empty vial. Hmm. Unpleasant odor. Ugh. Ugh. What is that? Is it Dylan's? Ugh. Ooh. Okay. Um. Give me a sec. Actually, go into my menu thing and check. So that didn't work. Ah, oh, that's a shame. It says I still have nine out of ten pieces of evidence in my achievements. So you need to get everything in one game to get the achievement. Okay. So, well, we know that we got all the evidence. Unless we go through all the evidence again, but I don't really remember where I got them. Um, that's it for chapter one now, though. We found all the things that I didn't find last time I played. So that's what counts for me. I want to have, I want to see everything. I'll go back to the cabin so we can read the newspaper article. Completionists weep. Why would this place be in the news? Okay, so the thing that was confusing for me is you pick it up, then nothing. You put it back down, then you pick it up again, and then you can read it. That doesn't make any fucking sense. Just saying. Freak show goes up in flames. Dozens killed in fire at traveling show. Last night in Hackett Woods, the widely anticipated harem scarum ended in tragedy as a blaze ripped through the show's attractions, burning the entire site to the ground in a matter of minutes. Though firefighters were eventually able to contain the flames, it is thought that dozens perished. There has been no official statement on the confirmed death toll yet. However, we can reveal that one of the deceased is known as Sheriff Hank Miller of Northkill. Oh. The cause of the fire is still unknown. However, the Northkill Police Department released a statement earlier today indicating the preliminary... Investigation showed no signs of arson. This looks like it was nothing but a tragic accident. It's no secret how quickly fires can go up in dry wooded areas, and through and though Harem Scarum followed all the correct safety procedures, sometimes acts of God like this are sadly unavoidable. Acts of God? Our thoughts go out to Hank's family and to all who lost their lives in this tragic turn of events. When questioned on how the Hackett family have reacted to the news of the fire, being the proprietors of the land on which this occurred, authorities declined to comment. Our priorities right now are to ensure nothing like this ever happens again. The bodies of all those who perished are identified and their next of kin informed. Members of the public are being asked to avoid the area whilst the investigation concludes 
and are also reminded that Hackett Woods are private property, known to be licensed grounds during hunting season. Candlelit Vigil will be held in Town Square next week to pay respects to Harem Scarum's show members and the attending residents of North Kill, who all tragically lost their lives. Details will be published in the coming editions. Why would a newspaper article like that be in a kid's cabin? Did you see the... Did you see the swing load in? The physics loaded in. Okay, let me do it again. Look at the swing by the tree, okay? See if we can get it to, the physics to load in again. It does like a little hop. Yeah! <laughs> the swing goes like, ooh! Because <laughs> it loads back in. <laughs> oh, the pool house. I never even realized it was there the first time. Wait, what's happening with this fence here? Is it just... Rusted down. Oh, that pool looks so nice. Abby, this is where you died. <laughs> is your neck feeling a bit like achy or are you okay? Ugh. Dylan's a little walk. Yeah, his little shuffle. <laughs> that was the funniest bug ever. Ready to roll? Let's do it. Finally. Ah, so Time satisfying to, to get and the collectibles. How are you so dramatic? Annoying. Confident. It's just acting. It's what the people want. <laughs> so you're faking it? I mean, in a way, faking it is just being yourself, but louder. You should try it sometime. You never know who you might impress. No, <laughs> it's too late now anyway. For what? You and Nick? You never know unless you put I never out realized, there. but people were saying she's actually secretly into Emma. And now I'm like, <gasps> that could be Whoa. it, yeah. Because oh. she's drawing <laughs> Emma. Jinkies. But Emma doesn't realize because she was with Jacob. Okay, so hypothetically, if I were to put myself out there, what if he ends up being a dud, kind of like you and Jacob? He's actually really sweet. Then why'd you quit it? Summer fling. We're going to school like four states away. I, he gets it. Yeah, sure. But that's us. You and Nick could be different. When you get his handle, hit him up. Oh, I already have his email. It was in the packet they gave to us on the first day. Email? Are you 93? What's wrong with email? <laughs> I'm really gonna miss you, Abby. Could be. Oh, she could on. be into Emma. Uh, Secretly. But the lodge is that way. Go right here. Why? Come on, scenic route? One last victory lap around the I'm kind of sad that they don't use this cart again. Um, later in the game. Sure, what's the victory? Two months. <laughs> it would be such a cool, technology. like, get in the cart! And then she's like, nice chaotically yeah. driving yeah. away from the werewolf. I don't know, it would have been cool, I think. You know what? I actually believe you. Abby, was that a compliment? Your charm is infectious. What can I say? <laughs> I'd subscribe. Mm -hmm. You better. As soon as you get home, sub, share, smash that like button. The holy trinity. Okay, well now I'm really regretting it. Oh no, you love me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my favorite spot. The fire pit? The island. Mad secluded, right? Mad secluded. Is is that smoke? Should we tell someone? Is that mm, Max already then on the island? It's pretty contained. It's probably just Mr. H burning some stuff before, you know, he closes camp for the summer. Yeah. What would Max Speaking be burning? Which, we should, we should probably what is the smoke? Get back. Oh, yeah. Worried Nick's, you know, gonna leave it at you. Well, no, they're probably like all waiting for us. Mm hmm. Everyone's waiting for us. Everyone, yeah. 
Lower yeah. on max. Yeah, but what Maybe. are they burning? All everyone, see. Ah, oh, yeah, that's Max then, looking down on them. The cop car? They did ditch the car, yeah. In the water, though. Campfire? It's just a campfire? That's probably it. Don't worry, Jacob, I got you. I got a full tank of gas, so... Oh, fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, idiot. <laughs> yeah, Dylan <laughs> is um, Susan's hey, random anyways, son. Dude, okay? this place is like patchy's balls. And someone balls else. Um, what? No. What's his name again? Something. Okay, I'll just go get some juice from Mr. H before we go. Uh, ew. Aquarium. <laughs> Miles Robbins. Hey, Nick. Hey, where were you guys? Wouldn't you like to know? Ignore His her, parents please. are Susan Sarandon and Tim Robbins. Let's go. I was like, uh? I forgot to show oh, you right guys. Me, I said um, that Jacob looked really think? good, I IRL. Take care of my um, own bag, thank you. Are you sure? Jacob I mean, it's really is played she can take care of her own by... Bag, thank you. We can both take care of our own bag. Thank you. Cool. What's his name? Actor? No. I'm not gonna do it. Zach. <laughs> this is the... The actor for Jacob. Dishes are done, boys. Good looking hey, dude. Hey, anyone seen Ryan? Oh yeah, he's probably off being all brooding. It's probably a better picture though. I'm luring somewhere. <laughs> I'm here. What were you doing under there? Having oh, a look at this uh, I was one. Listening to a podcast, actually. Oh, podcast, nice. That's cool. Oh, oh, oh Jacob. Yeah, what's it about? Is it about me? They have to flirt. I can't not I flirt. I listening to a podcast about you. Okay, if anyone here had a podcast about them, it'd be me. Yeah, if there was a podcast called How to Look and Smell Like a Butt. Oh my god, <laughs> you are so childish. Really so look and smell like a butt. <laughs> no, it's just a How to Look and Smell podcast. Like a Butt. This episode was actually about this place, weirdly enough. Mm. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. The who of the what's it where now? The hack sling, ha hack hack slinging quarry? slasher. The hack slinging the slasher. Hack quarry. Uh, if I did, would I be asking dumbass? Tell her about the hack of hack its quarry. I don't think she wants to know about the hack of hack its quarry. <laughs> oh, can we just please stop saying the hag of hack its quarry? <laughs> <laughs> it's just this campfire story for the kids. It's um, they're supposedly an old woman who died in a fire a few years back. She haunts the woods. Fake Ryan, because Dylan again. <laughs> there are like reports of whispers or whatever, and then this figure that floats around, you know, textbook ghost stuff. Some people say- She whispers in your ear. If she catches you alone, she'll try to turn you into her son or kill you or something. I don't know, it's never really been clear. Anyways. Haga Haga, it's Corey. You made that up. Yeah, don't you guys think right Ryan's podcast, voice bro. sounds much heavier than he does when he's cool acting story, in person? Like IRL acting? When I saw him in Detective Pikachu, I think his voice was a lot higher. Sportive. Seriously, though, you should have seen the first time he told the story to the kids at the campfire. They were scarred for life. I mean, not for life. <laughs> You gotta be careful with this stuff, man. This shit's true. Come on, dude, bullshit. What's the holdup, Hacketeers? Yeah, hey, 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 uh, nearly done. I'm really Mr. sad H. that to Mr. H doesn't have a bigger part to Get play. Get those butts in gear. I realized later Sorry, that Mr. H. the only yeah, time you see his up. human Maybe model somebody didn't spend is here, so much time and that's it. He checks out, and then it's, that's you it. Asked. 
ghost stories? Mr. Cheeks. <laughs> oh. <sighs> hey, you still have the van key, Mr. H? Well, yes, I do. But you know, I'd lose my head if it wasn't stuck on. Back to the office I go. Give me a hand, would you, Ryan? He oh, is kind of okay. weird, don't you think? Like, Yo, he Mr. knows H. that he has to get out of here. What's up, DJ Dylan? Any chance I could get a little charge? I want to have some uh, tunes for the road. No can do. Hmm. Yeah, whatever. Cool, cool, yeah. No worries. Good man. Uh, no big deal. You can share my earbuds. Nope. New can do. Headphones, maybe. But things that actually go in your ear, no thanks. So, uh, Chris, I I'm actually glad we got a moment to talk. Uh, uh oh. I'm not fired, am I? <laughs> no, no, it's, um, it's just, you know, about the whole thing w with the. Hold that thought, partner. I'm gonna have to take this. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, sorry. Hello. Well, we've heard this conversation already, so let's not snoop this time. See what happens. Oh my god, it's that awful podcast. <laughs> the one that we have to listen to for 20 minutes when you finish the game. Traumatized Sorry me. Sorry about that, bud. Sorry about that, bud. Didn't mean to push you out like that. You, uh, you need a hand looking for the keys? Uh, no, end of summer, busy, busy, you know. Anyway. The podcasters are real hosts. Me. Well, I'm sure they didn't oh, uh, wrote yeah, what yeah, they the whole voice acted. Cool thing, what you thought I should do. Right. Y you know, listen, whether or not I should, like, leave my sister with my grandparents since I'd have to live on campus, you know. And my mom's not exactly around, so I wouldn't want to leave Sarah on her own. You know, fam our family's small enough as it is. Well, family is important, Ryan. Dang it. You know, with how small Chris's part is in this game, I feel like he literally just came to set one day, did his scenes, and then was just done. He's like in three scenes or something. Um, I wish he was in more of the game. Is everything okay? You got a hot day tonight? Oh boy. If you only knew. <laughs> so, uh, what what did you need me for? Rakio, you know, thanks for the gifted subs. Ryan, Thank you. you. Know One of the good ones. But, do you know how many calls I get from parents, letter after letter, of these terrified kids that they send home? Huh. I, I didn't realize you know, you that. would think Believe if not, they know away from sleepaway camp, what Chris is dealing with, why don't they just so put the just end of summer camp a week earlier? Stories. Just make it a month and three weeks instead of two months. Sorry, I didn't realize it was such a big deal. Gotta understand the repercussions of your actions, Buster. It's a big part of being a counselor, a leader. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what they did in Just the middle of it. Next time, okay? I can What's imagine. The... Well, I guess maybe they yeah, all just locked up. Anymore? Good grief! Um, I'm outgrowing my own. Maybe cliches. everyone who transforms agreed to be locked up that night. Seriously, Chris, what's going on? I just want to get you guys safely out of Dodge before the sun. And then this one tonight is where the kids are like, you know what? I've had enough. You can't lock me up every month. I'm going to do my own thing. i got to roam free, Daddy. Um, I get it. Totally. Yeah. Ugh, that asshole playthrough is going to be rough. 
<laughs> Woods are chock full of live game and local hunters hop to it the second camp's over. It's not safe. Hmm. Yeah, that's another thing. Yeah, they put everyone in those electrified yeah, cages, good, good but they could have they, they could so easily just put everyone on that little island together. And that would be just a safe. Will you say goodbye to Caleb and Kaylee for me? They just sort of just snuck off. Well, you'll see him again next year. Caleb works at the scrap yard during the off season and right. Kaylee, well, she's still figuring out what she wants to do. She's got her whole life ahead of her. They both just come and go as they please, really. Teenagers, am I right? Actually, could have used the help packing up since we were short staff. Well, not during the summer yeah, camp. No, no, no. Manager, right? I don't mean that. Then, then they definitely but should have been I'll in tell cages. Them both you were sad you missed them. But when there's no summer camp and the entire area Unlocked is empty the anyway. Van, put the keys in my pocket. Came in the office. Right where I left. Uh -huh. Let's get out of. <laughs> His little shorts. This one definitely makes more sense because now the car is gonna literally catch fire, right? Make sure they're all ready to go for real this time. Wait, how did you get your phone back before the rest of us? I never turned it in. You should have turned it off before you handed it in, Dylan. God, yeah, I get, the rules, like, no know. socials and stuff during work hours, but you can't even listen to a podcast or anything at night then, or music. I try not to dwell on the past, man. Good. Because it's time to dwell on the minivan. Get on with our respective lives. Move it. Let's go. What's the problem? Ugh. Dude, I don't know. I, I think there's something wrong with the engine, Mr. H. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, dude, it's just like kaput. All right, let me try. What, dude, I'm telling you, all right, it's busted. Well, maybe you're doing well, it wrong. Well, maybe you're doing it wrong. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Enough. Enough, both of you. Kaput. Ch come on. All right, come dude, on. Chill. Chill, Let's go. dude. Kaput. And Dutch. The engine is kaput. The motor Everybody is kaput. Back. Now, now, now. <laughs> That's gonna be hot, dude. Jacob, wait, 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 wait! I got this. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna help. Jeez, dude, I was trying to help. Doesn't doesn't that just make it worse? If he would have thrown that on, I'm not sure. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, look, it's not that big of a deal, okay? We'll just spend one more night here. No! No! Just stop. Let me think. I don't know why... It's like... You know when a pan catches fire and they're always like, don't throw water on it? That's why what I was thinking. I don't know if it applies to engines too, but... Okay. Damn it. Water on oil is bad. Okay. You're right. I you're did right. have yeah. it right. Okay. What? Yeah, you're right. Hey, Brian, come here for a sec. Make sure that everybody is inside the lodge for tonight. Lock the doors. No one in, no one out. No one. Got it? Okay. Send him to the island. I'll be back oh, first wait, Max. thing in the morning. Never mind. <laughs> we'll get you all on the road. You just have to keep everyone inside. Can you promise me you'll do that? Yeah, sure. We'll, we'll stay inside. And a boy. Lock the doors. And for God's sake, keep the noise down. He really should have said something about like hunting season or something. You need a little bit more to motivate kids to stay inside. So, what was that about? He uh, said to stay inside. 
that we're not leaving until the morning. Are you kidding me? Am. <laughs> are you kidding me? What are we supposed to do? Well, we should go inside, like he said. We could go inside until morning. Yeah. Or... Or we could do something else. Should I be good boy, Ryan, this time? Does it matter, you think? Probably not, right? They're just gonna party anyway. Save everyone except Jacob. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter, right? Yeah. What are you talking about? No Mr. Hackett, no screaming kids. Just a bunch of grown-ass adults ready to cut loose and get down with their animal side. Oh, hell yeah! <laughs> P A R T. Why the fuck not? All right, it seems like the stars have aligned for us, no? Okay, okay, okay. One last epic bonfire blowout for all time. Is uh, there anything worth no. watching that Caitlin is fuck in? Yes. Caitlin's in. Nick, actor? You're in. Actress? Yeah, I'm in. Dylan's in, obviously. Because I really like my her, man. but I Caitlin? don't know if she's in anything like I go with my people big, yeah, okay. worth the watch. Um, what do you say? Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. <laughs> I'm in. Mr. Oh, Hackett Hester, thanks for the raid. Thank you so fun. much. He's just trying to freak us out, you know? Um, like, um, fair warning for anyone like new from the raid. Stories. We are, we, we have played us. it before. So th there will be spoilers if you don't know the quarry. I'm I'm assuming that you that you know the ending. We're just like collecting some new evidence and clues, and we're just trying out new things. Um, he's just concerned. I'm sure he's just looking out for us. No big deal. All right, yeah. No, Party. I, I, yeah. Mean, everyone says sweet life is Zach and Cody. I thought not really worth hand, watching. Right? Yeah, that's what I figured. She's a Disney star. Hmm. Fine. Fine. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I just want to go on record and say that this is a bad oh idea. God, dude. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Look, Dylan has two hands. It's going to be fine, man. <laughs> Trust me. It's wow. It's going to be chill. All right. All right. All right. Hacketeers. Party planning committee, let's do this. Um, okay, first things first. Nick and Abby, you go get some firewood. She's in the uh, social network. And then oh. I will go to the stores for some supplies. She married Macaulay and, Culkin. Uh, Dylan, you just really? know, figure out how to charge the phones or something. All right, let's do this. Jacob's so happy. Secret obsession on Netflix. Secret obsession is good. Hmm. Bobby is completely covered. Why is he covered and Jedediah isn't? Oh wait, he does it now. Never mind. I thought he was gonna drink it for a second. <laughs> Dang it, Bobby! <laughs> Ugh. That must be so bad for your pores, dude. Oh yeah. The reason I'm not showing off my tattoos as well is the, the cream I've been using to heal the tattoos. <laughs> Normally I use like a, an acne cream for my chest to keep it all nice and clear. But because I'm using like the oily stuff to heal the tattoos, so many spots on my shoulders and chest. I'm just like, this. my shoulders aren't ready for the world. <laughs> So many spots. I was hoping you'd come back to me. Hello. Let's see what you found. I can't wait to have everything healed up so I can Tempest. start using my acne products again. Because holy shit, so to many be spots. Balanced. So annoying. To consume in moderation. Or to indulge in excess. Temperance. Take it or leave it. But remember, 
Sometimes. She's literally, literally just reading the game's description of the cards. Gratification. There's more I can show you, if you like. We're saving, kitten. I was hoping you'd say that. Ah, the bullets. Ah, and that's Emma you using the fireworks. Going. It's still early and the moon is bright, but time won't wait. Not for those with a story to tell. Be careful. Yeah, I think Sean Look told me that yourselves. if you don't run for mm -hmm. in that bit with Emma Look where she uses the fireworks, the then you're fine. She doesn't have to she doesn't she doesn't get in danger or anything. Chapter two, okay. We need the lodge renovation plans, the hanged man card. That's it. Just two things. So here we are, stranded in the great American wild with nothing but our wits to guide us. Lodge renovation will humanity plans. Prevail or will we grow ravenous and resort to eating the flesh of the deceased like I saw in that one plane crash movie? Camp store. Upon searching the back There's room of the general store, you'll find the lodge renovation plans on a shelf Rich right of the locked storeroom door. Okay. An irritating taste lingering on the palate. An acquired taste. And Someone. the hanged man. Choose the rocky road. All right. Wow. What? Looks like you're trying to thread a needle with a packet of loose sausages. Oh my god, I'm almost done, okay? Okay, Jesus. leave that open. And for the record, your analogies are very hurtful. Okay, I'm almost there. One second. He gets it. Just be patient. Ah, there we go! And Viola. <laughs> Your hair clip, madam. Yeah, I love that he says Viola. <laughs> I like a man who's good with his hands. Hmm. Yeah, well, they call Viola. Me magic fingers. No, they don't. Okay. So, if I were a beer, where would I be hiding? Beep, 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 beep. What beep, are you doing? Oh, <laughs> uh, it's my beer dar. Helps me dar for beers. <laughs> how am I just noticing how super lame you are? What? But it, it's my beer dar, dude. <laughs> I'm just gonna. I'm gonna go over here. How old are they? They yeah, they're really over sixteen because they're driving. But does it say how old they are? Mister H loved his accessories. Maybe they're like 18. They're about to go to college, so they must be like 19, right? Don't you like finish high school 17, 18? Look, it's locked. So they're still pretty young. Yeah. Don't know what I was expecting. <laughs> oh. Oh, hell yeah! <laughs> oh, oh! Jackpot! Oh! Hey, oh. Uh, <laughs> check out my giant melons. Oh. See, you just cut a hole in it. Mm hmm. You pour in your vodka. It's party time. You just you pour the vodka right in it. Yeah, it's the most fun you could have with a hole in a watermelon. Or, well, second most. Jacob, why'd you go there? Okay, I'm gonna leave you two alone and go look for some more party supplies. Definitely 18. <laughs> Can't be older than that. <laughs> okay, so next to the back door should be the blueprints. The renovation plans. Give me a heads up is there if there's any like other Oh hey Bobby. There's any other articles or something I can read that I'm forgetting? 
Yeah, also, unlocking this cage doesn't do anything. This cage doesn't even come back into play. This whole store doesn't come back into play. It must be here. Oh, Rebecca, thanks for the bits. Thank you. Blueprint for structural repairs on the lodge's chimney column. Oh, so the, we, the chimney was already weakened. Scrawled annotations, this is not something Chris has the money to action. That's why the werewolf breaks through the chimney. It's already, like, dodgy. Hmm. Well, well. I wonder where this goes. <laughs> Locked. Jacob! Come check this out. Caleb wasn't even that strong. No, probably not. Honestly, that painting might have been uh, there to just cover oh, up a hole in the chimney. Alrighty then. And he came through it. Door. Buckle up because Find you a clown mask and scare Jacob. About to meet oh. your maker. Where is it? Done. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Fucking mother love. Good golly, Miss Molly. No wonder I kept this place locked up. I think he'll be pissed when we made his stash. What? No. I mean, he left us stranded here. It's like, um... <clears throat> Human rights, or whatever. Sure. Yeah. All right. Now Scare let's see what with we are the working spiders. with. Hold that. The door will latch otherwise. Yeah, that's oh. another thing. The door Hell will yeah. latch otherwise. So technically, you probably in could block a werewolf in Job that storage done. room. Boom. I want to look around. If you let it close. Go for it. It's like they had a lot of ideas when they started the game, but then scrapped a lot of it because because of budget issues. Jacob, check this out. Right well, before you I reach the table in the, the back. Door latch. They look like camping hmm. supplies. Oh, okay. Um, there's tents back at the fire pit, so just let's let's go. Did a bear do this? Oh, yeah, the gun. Oh, cool. What? What is it? A gun. Oh, cool. And, uh... Not that it does anything. Code. Oh, yeah, I checked my episode, my recording in the last bit. I definitely shot too late with Caitlin. So it was my bad. Okay. I'm done. I just thought I shot, but I, I, I think I let the timer run out, and I clicked to shoot just as the timer ran out, so I was just too late. Okay, that it? That box is empty, if you're wondering. Oh. So you're, uh, you're really gonna keep the gun, huh? Yeah, for bears. Okay, <laughs> uh, well I... I'm gonna find something to haul this lot back to camp. I wonder if this cage is like here because they used this as, at one point. Four were werewolves. All right. I'm in. Hey, very nice. <laughs> what else is in there? Uh, just some fireworks. I wonder if she Oop. picks up the fireworks, fireworks doesn't yeah, use it on I a werewolf. Think... Maybe you can use it some Emma? other time as a distraction. Fireworks. Definitely take it. You know, you're right. Fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah! Fireworks! Oh, um, and might I just add, um, fireworks. 
I love his excitement I found though. These, like torn up bags back there. They were pretty messed up and I think they might have had blood on them. Oh, oh, stop. Stop. Stay right there. Uh, oh, dude. Peanut butter butter pops. I love that they put dude, a peanut, peanut butter, butter butter pops, butter pops ad in the podcast. That was funny. What are butter pops? Uh, no. What? I can't believe it. Um, okay. Um <clears throat> pop pop peanut butter butter pops. <laughs> pop 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 Oh my god. They're like the greatest <laughs> snack of all time. What are they? Are they like popcorn? What? No. No 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 no. They're nothing like popcorn. They're like their own thing. Like their own subgenre of food snack. You know what? I haven't had these since I was a kid. You are in for such a treat. Okay, wait, is there an expiration date on that bag? Um, no, they're still good. Oh my god, they're <laughs> like 20 years old, aren't okay. they? Okay, look, they predate expiration dates. Well, you're gonna love them. <laughs> <laughs> She's cute too. Blah. <laughs> well, <clears throat> I saw a wheelbarrow out front. So we can load up Now I booty. get it. She's being uh, weird about the wheelbarrow like, because it's a wheelbarrow. Oh, it means like I didn't um, know the difference. Like treasure or buds? <laughs> no, before that. Wheelbarrow? Uh yeah. Um okay. Uh it's like um it's like a barrel with wheels. You can <laughs> put stuff in it and just wheel it around. Oh. I see. <laughs> that <house. laughs> first. Yep. Back, right? Yeah. <laughs> totally different word in Dutch. All right. The inner sanctum. It's just an office. This is where the magic happens. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Let's just make this quick. Sure. Just give me a sec to get this going. And engage. Woohoo! Podcasts. Yeah. All right. <laughs> and leak. Uh, what's it called? The one that you're. Let's go. <laughs> uh, bizarre yet bona fide. So like ghosts and stuff. It's like um, yeah, like the the weird and the wonderful, digging up weird mysteries and. Discussing if they're, well, bona fide. Boner fide. Get it? Boner. <laughs> <laughs> Your wit knows no bounds. <laughs> so, should we check it out? It would definitely get me. <laughs> of sin? Uh, I don't know, man. I feel bizarre yet boner stuff. Okay. Well, I don't. I mean, come on, what kind of dirty secrets is the owner of a summer camp full of impressionable young children going to have anyway? <laughs> Not Mr. H, I know. He's cool. It's always been cool to me. Okay, let's have a look. Whoa, look at this old thing. Hey, give me your number. I want to try it out. Why? Flirt! Uh, so that I can ask you out on a date. Uh. Mm, smooth. <laughs> I think if I try to cell phone. Ryan seems thing, interested. Uh, hello? What? What? Who is it? Uh, hello? It's weird. I thought I heard someone. Huh. Maybe you should have asked them out on a date. Damn it, I missed my shot. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, Dilla's the best character. <laughs> oh wait, let's check this one. Kaylee and Caleb Packett. Weird kids, huh? I like them. Yeah, me, I, me too. Um, they are pretty reclusive, you have to admit. Okay, trapdoor time. This doesn't lead to anything either, does it? Well, hello. Like, what if you climb this? down and you weaken the ladder, you 
Nothing really happens with that. Is that a trap door? <laughs> I knew that there was a secret sex dungeon around here somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet you Mr. H is into some real kinky shit. Uh, I doubt it. Weren't there a couple of counselors who never showed up? Uh huh. Why? If Emma is infected, secret it plays into a sex oh. dungeon. Yeah, it's not funny. It probably just goes to the basement <laughs> or something. Open it up. I see. All right. Well, it looks like a pit of eternal darkness. So. You're being dramatic. Climb down, take a look. Look, you can squeeze through there. You opened it, you climb down. Uh, on second thought, I'd rather not know what Mr. H is into. Mm -hmm. More mysterious that way. Sure. <laughs> All of their interactions make me chuckle. <laughs> Ooh, that's a nice chair, I could get used to this. You better hope Mr. H doesn't catch you taking his baby out for a joyride. <laughs> Ringy dingy ding. Oh, sorry, bud. Gotta take this one second. <laughs> Hello, Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. What can I do for you on this darn tootin' doozy of a day? Is that your impression of Mr. H? <laughs> this darn tootin' uh, yeah, doozy? Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, I. you're absolutely right. He does need to be nicer to Dylan. <laughs> And, uh, what's that? You want him to give Dylan his phone number? That's a little forward, but I can see what I can do. Smooth. <laughs> Should we just leave the gun? Because Ryan doesn't want us to take it. Or should we take it? Oh, Laura Kearney and Max Brindley. Oh yeah, those are the ones that never showed up. Yeah, it's because of these goobers that we had to work extra shifts this summer. You can't take it, it would just irritate Ryan. That's why I thought, yeah. Yo, my guy, toss me the keys. Uh, so you can poke around in Chris's private area? I, I'm sorry, is that something that only you're allowed to do? Hardy har har. Come on, what's the harm in looking? It's, you're not a little bit curious? I'm not gonna touch anything. Fine, don't let me regret it. <laughs> Can't promise that, but. Nothing but net. <laughs> you're using that wrong. <laughs> oh. They're just tossing keys like it's so easy. I'm just always like, don't toss me anything. I'll drop it. Just anything. Fashion icon. Mr. H knows what he likes. Especially keys, Shake man. Ass. If you catch them wrong, they fucking hurt your fingers. Oh, nice. Yo. Hey, hey, maybe we shouldn't... Nice and printer. <laughs> uh, Ryan? Yeah, it's a fun vine. It's a vine, right? It's Whoa, not a TikTok. What the fuck? These monitors, this is the camp. Huh. Is Mr. H spying on us? No, no. I mean, no, no, he can't be. These are just, they're all different trails in the woods around camp. <laughs> sure. Most of the cameras are pointed away from camp, so it's not like he's spying on the kids, unless they wandered out into the woods. You know, these are just, probably just trail cameras. What are trail cameras? People set them up to catch weird, random shit. Okay, yeah, like what? Like, uh, Bigfoot sightings, you know, that kind of thing. Mm, maybe I should do... Intro no mischievous, mischievous. So okay, I'm going to upgrade Mr. H from super creepy pervert 
with a spy cam to, you know, super crazy conspiracy hunter. To be fair, Bigfoot's not a conspiracy. Okay, fine. How about an aspiring conspiracy <laughs> Hey, maybe he likes the <laughs> podcast that you listen to. Sure. Yeah. Let's go with that. <laughs> okay, but why go through all the trouble of hiding this room through a secret door in the closet? Uh, I mean, it's not exactly secret, right? Like, it's just... Ryan's hidden, trying so like, hard. Stuff. Yeah, that's what a secret is, Ryan. It, it's weird. It's majorly yeah, weird. I don't right? disagree with you, but it, it's it's got to be something juicy in here. Dylan, okay. it's it's none of our business. And if you really want to know, you can ask him tomorrow. I'm sure, that won't be an awkward conversation, like at all. Okay, yeah, maybe I will. I all didn't right. hear about the rewind. I, yeah, I'm leaving the secret. That if layer. something gets you killed, Have it could fun. rewind hey, you, you back quite a bit. Secret layer. I'm aware. I should be okay though. I. I I think the only time I really need to use it is is if I mess up a shot or anything. Huh. I think like strategy wise, we have it kind of like planned out. We should be good. I started reading my best friend's exorcism next. <laughs> Oh yeah, I had my first class as well. Uh, my first Japanese class. It was very challenging. <laughs> Basically what we're doing right now is just talking for a whole hour. And just whatever comes up, she just asks me random questens and I just basically try and have a conversation, Whoa, ask things back. Stuff in here. Yeah, maybe let's not touch that. She sent me like yeah, there's nothing. Afterwards, she sent me, like, uh, later in the day, she sent me, like, a whole list of all the notes that she made, of, like, all the stuff that came up in the conversation. Going through it, it was, like, so such, like, hard words. Well, obvious ones as well, like, the word for a vet that I forgot. Um, and, like, sterilizing your cat. So, obviously, I talked about BB and, like, finding him. And um, then his food came up so i talked about how sean is technically allergic to cats but we have this cat food that this was so hard i had to explain in japanese that we have a cat food that lowers the allergens in cats and that is like a protein in it that isolates the allergen that people are allergic to <laughs> that i got so stuck but yeah i forgot like protein is tampakushitsu stuff like that um and then, like, we talked about allergy symptoms and my allergies. I didn't know what TikTok in Japanese was, but apparently it's just TikTok. We talked about the tattoos and, like, how it was healing and, like, what... She didn't know anything about the tattooing process, so I explained to her, like, how it goes from, like, sketch to all the way to getting tattooed and how long healing usually takes painful it was then she asked me a ton of questions about youtube i'm like like how often do i upload and like how do you earn money with stuff like that when did i start my channel when did i live in japan then we talked about maybe traveling to japan again and i was like no it's too warm now gotta wait until like november before the heat in japan is bearable again and she was like oh yes yes i agree <laughs> and then we talked about japanese food and that, that, all of that, just in that one hour. And I was like, oh my God, my brain. I was completely drained after that. <laughs> but it was amazing. I'm very happy with it so far. She's very, very nice. Oh, I already was here. She's very nice and she's very enthusiastic. She's very excited to... Nice. She says that she's never had to well, teach uh, anyone as with as high of, high as a level, high as high of a level in Japanese as mine. So she's very excited to like really push the limits. Um, have to party. Hey, Dunzo. All right, cool, let's go. Okay, we got the lodge renovation plan. Thank you. And then when we play as Nick and Abby, we are gonna get another card and that's it. Speak of the devil. 
I think this was the one. Choose Should the rocky road. It's really very pretty out here yeah. when there's no kids around. Yeah, they can get kind of obnoxious, huh? Yeah. They always seem to listen to you during painting class. You've seen my she class? She seems lovely. She's absolutely lovely. Just she lives really mind. close by as well, so I'm like, the art cabin's part of me is like, can I just like way. meet you somewhere to yeah, talk? Well, this it would be so great to talk in person, but they do all of their classes online since COVID. They probably just, they they Which had actual in-person classes. Why don't you choose? But then during COVID, they moved everything to online and then they probably realized that online is much cheaper because you don't have to pay for a school, like the location. Okay, Rocky Road. Good choice. Better sticks this way. Better sticks? Yeah, <laughs> they're like burning or whatever. So there should be a card this way. Think we've got enough? Uh, Continue down yet. the standard route. The camera will cut to the card on the rocks above. Okay, so we just follow the path. What's that? Oh, quartzite. Dominant rock at the quarry. So this Earthside. place was an actual quarry? Uh, yeah. Non-foliated. Apparently some of the caves are in pretty deep. It's like a honeycomb under there. Cool. Yeah, text. Quartzite is a non-foliated metamorphic rock, which was originally pure, pure quartz. It was previously used in prehistoric times for making stone tools. Oh, pure quartzite is usually white to gray, but can be found in various shades of pink and red, yellow, green, blue, and orange. So basically any color. Interesting. Oh, there's the falling rocks. Wait, so which way is falling rocks? Are you sure this is safe? What, are you scared? No. Are you? No. Go left. Don't veer off down the falling rocks path to your right. Okay. So yeah, go left. I wonder what happens if you go right. Kind of curious now. There it is! Found it. To be the hanged man is to surrender, and by doing so gain a new perspective. Look carefully and consider that sometimes one needs to be strung up in order to let go. Sure. Sure, bud. Hanged man, done. That's chapter two, everything covered. For three, we only have the no swimming sign and a tower card. So only two things. Um, I'm tempted to go back and check out the falling rock section. Maybe next time. Maybe in the death run. Uh, I guess it just leads back anyway. So you ever think about what's next? Like after we die it's heavy man <laughs> no i mean like the future yeah sometimes all the time it's so overwhelming i know what you mean sometimes i just try to like let it happen you know what like whatever happens is what was meant to happen hmm. like it's all predetermined Mm. Pedantic. I wouldn't call it that exactly. A predetermined future. Maybe.
maybe the direction stays the same, but the details change. Like, it changes as you go. You're still in control of your own... Sounds like this game. Yeah. I don't know. Seems a little Does the walker this. choose the path? Yeah, or see, the path? I can do the whatever walker. I want and not feel bad about it. Within reason. Guess that is a little freeing in a sociopathic kind of way. <laughs> Am I going the right way? Oh, yeah. Oh, these are the steps that she runs up after Nick gets attacked. Ew. So we still end up at the same place anyway. Interesting. Second playthrough, yeah. I know where we are. Yeah? Up here. Here, hold these. Sure. <laughs> she literally had one stick. <laughs> this view is just... Wow. You know, they might fix the menu stuff in a patch. That you, you don't lose your progress on every playthrough. Like there are other dark pair... Uh, I keep wanting to say Dark Parable. Dark Pictures games. Dark Parable is a hog. <laughs> Damn, Abby, you're really good. No, no, this is nothing. <laughs> no, really, I'm not just saying that. This is rough, but if I can get a little bit of it down, then I'll remember it better later. It's All I can really think cool of is how myself. mean he gets later um, on. Yeah. That he calls I mean, her dumb, so. like, multiple times. I mean, not everyone knows what they're capable of, you know? I'm sure you're capable of a lot, Nick. I mean, of course. I just don't know what. I mean, yeah, he decapitates her. Decaffeinates her. Mm, be careful. It's probably nothing. No, listen. There's something there. <laughs> Look! It's so tiny. <laughs> They've been there for two months, oh God, though. He's so cute. Like, I feel like you would know that you can't, like, approach baby hogs. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> what would he do, you think? Can you imagine if the hog could actually kill you in this game? <laughs> Get an early death for Nick. <laughs> that would be kind of amazing. The hog of Hacker's Quarry. <laughs> they can I really? Yeah, they. I think so. Jeez. It was close. There were a ton of YouTube comments that were like, almost just mow me to death. they just laughed off, but actually, that could have been life and death. Life or death. Oh, little piggy hog. <laughs> it's actually a boar. At least we gave her a good story to tell her pig husband. How do you know it was the mommy pig? I got a pretty good look. Ew! <laughs> I think she was coming on to me. Oh, got yourself a little girlfriend. She wasn't that little. <laughs> hm. 
She is rocking those shorts. They look good. Just saying. We are, we're all looking at the same thing. You can't tell me you're not looking at that. <laughs> Guess we should head back. Is that chapter two done? Is it time for Miss Palmer? Oh, not yet. Caitlin. Finally get my phone back and it's just a big dumb brick. <laughs> All oh, right, Max. She says it's a big dumb break, but she's still taking pictures with it. So that's something. Hey, Caitlin. Guess what? Mr. H is a voyeuristic creep. He has hidden cameras everywhere and a secret room. No, that's not. Whoa, now back up. What? Yeah, Caitlyn is really everywhere. good looking. I feel like she's the best. The Suck it off, man. He, he's just got most good looking. Yeah, that's no probably correct English. That most good looking in the entire wow. group. You don't think that's weird? Well, he's got a perimeter. She so also to protect. He'll probably just like a lot of them. Kind of like have those uncanny I'm valley sure. moments where you're like, something so, uh, is wrong with your face, but I can't tell Are what. But she just looks great. Um. Be honest. I did see a weird light in the treehouse across the lake. Yeah, that was pretty spooky. Maybe it's your girlfriend, Brian. The hag of Hackett's Quarry. <laughs> I told you never to say hag of Hackett's Quarry again. What's wrong with saying hag of Hackett's Quarry? The hag slinging yeah. slasher? <laughs> you know, I just realized we may never see each other again after tonight. You can't have just realized that. Just trying to set the mood. What <laughs> mood? The mood, the vibe, you know. Speaking of setting the mood, I have work to do. Okay, because playlists don't make themselves. I mean, I guess they do, but. All right, right guy. Time to get wood. Right nice. guy. Wording. Oh, I know what I said. Abby, <laughs> Nick, just in time. We got wood. <laughs> We've already done that joke. <laughs> It's mostly just kindling. Oh, that's all we need. There's already a big pile of logs here. We could have gotten more, but there was a hog or a boar. But Nick was very, very brave and took one for the team. The hog of Hackett's Quarry? Oh my gosh, it can't be. The <laughs> hog of Hackett's Quarry? <laughs> what? Thought you hated that phrase. Big jokes take big sacrifices. <laughs> so brave. <laughs> Oh, I okay, just want to shrink you down to little pocket people and put you in my pocket and peep at you when I need a little pick me up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> my thoughts exactly. She goes from like. Whoa. Special delivery. She goes from like awesome one liners to like. Ah, now you're pushing it though. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where the hell did that gun come dude, from? Dude, relax, okay? It's not even real. Uh. Well, I mean, it's a real gun, but it's just for shooting bears. We found it in the storage room. Okay, fine, fine, we'll put it down. Thank you. Guns are no joke, dipshit. And, and, we bring you a hand-picked selection of only the finest that Hackett's Quarry has to offer. No freaking way. Yes, freaking way. Pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops. <laughs> pop, pop, pop them in your mouth. Pop! I didn't even know you could still find these anyway. Hey, hey, cool your jets there, cowboy. All right, these... Are spoken for. Dude, you can't just shove those in my face and not pop, expect pop, me to want to pop, 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 pop them in my mouth. Come on. Emma, please hand me the shotgun. What, you're going to shoot me over them? No, dumbass. Okay, we are going to shoot for them. No, nah, dude. Absolutely not. No. Um, why is he mocking this time? Okay, as much as I enjoy watching Nick squirm away from a challenge, I don't think this is a great idea. Hey, uh, you know what? Yeah, you're right. Maybe I should just uh, give Nick the butter pops as like an act of charity or something. Fine, you're on. Yeah! 
Yeah, boy! <laughs> <laughs> Jacob, hand me that gun now. I mean, nobody's handling any firearms if you're gonna act like a dick about okay, it. Okay, then you can be the ref. We need an objective third party. I thought she was okay, loading the gun, but apparently here, she's Jacob. unloading. Well, she's definitely loading it. Just you're off on a little side quest. Come on. Okay, so there were a ton of YouTube comments saying that I I was like, why is she loading the gun while saying that they shouldn't handle the gun? Um, and then people are like, no, 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 she's unloading the gun. Like, she's taking out the shotgun shells. And I was like, oh, that makes sense. Maybe I just, like, saw it wrong. But I was paying attention now. She definitely just puts the shells in. That motion is definitely just putting shells in. But I guess they only made one right. animation, so they're just... She's probably show. unloading it, but... Look, there's a clearing we can use as a shooting range They didn't have the animation, so... If I see either of you dicking around, I am turning this car around. Oh, we'll be good. <laughs> okay, so just so you know, I was an expert marksman, third class, three years in a row, ranked highest in camp each year. I'm just letting you know that your goose is cooked, Nick. But if you back down now, I might let you just have one little peanut butter butter pop if you're lucky. No way. Wait, what is? Yeah, that's because you've never shot before. Yeah, not that you know of. <laughs> okay. Jacob I, I misses, right? Okay, right. boys, I'm gonna have to stop you right there. As much as I'm enjoying your charming, or he gets now, disqualified. The we step foot on the shooting range, we're playing by my rules, okay? And what I say goes. Got yeah. It? What if I miss all the shots? Okay, good. Now I'm gonna go set up some targets and get more shells. But what? Do what if Nick misses all of his shots or too? Touch his gun until I'm back. All right. So is it just Let's me? Do it. Is it kind of hot? What you <laughs> Let's this? miss I'm all the shots. Hot, yeah. Down. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye. So, um, how's your little one-on-one -on -one with Abby in the woods? Let's do evasive this time. Fine. How is your little one-on-one -on -one with Emma? Oh, it's incredible. <laughs> She's totally still into me. Really? Yeah. Just got to figure out this whole long distance thing. Is that what she wants? I want to know what she wants. Well, I mean, you could ask her. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> uh, speaking of, oh my God, you Jacob, you're so man. dim sometimes. Are you guys seriously still thumping your chest at each other? No, I think he's got brain damage. <sighs> okay, please just now she's gun. definitely uh -huh. loading the you'll gun have as well. It when I say you'll have it. All right, huddle up, boys. This is how we're gonna do this. You're shooting the one on the left. Nick first, then Jacob's turn. Keep your fingers off the trigger till you're ready to shoot. You got it? Aye aye. Two things. Okay, let's miss. Remember the spread. Remember the recoil. This is a shotgun. We're not sharpshooting here. The flashlight shows you where you're aiming. Obs. <laughs> Unlucky, dude. That's so hey, funny. We're too far back to do any real damage. Let's scooch forward a little and uh, fuck these guys up. All right, Nick. This time for real. <laughs> Accurate rec uh, representation of how I played my first playthrough. <laughs> Missing oh, everything. <laughs> I guess you don't want those butter pops after all. It's okay, dude. It's not like it's an obvious metaphor for your sexual competence or anything. It is. Uh, okay, okay then. <sighs> All right, you might want to uh, avert your eyes, Nick. I don't want to give you any more performance anxiety. Uh, all right, all right, just shut up and shoot, Jacob. Huh. I thought you were an ultra elite pro marksman. Yeah, with like a rifle, Whoa, okay, dude, not with this freaking cannon dude, blaster. That is how you get someone shot. God. Nah, it's okay, you probably would have missed me anyway. Hey, so scary when he does that. for being a dumbass. What? No! Sorry, Jacob. Better luck next time. <laughs> Butter luck next time? Hey, I didn't <laughs> want to say it, but you're both very mean. <laughs> Sorry, Jacob. You're a moron sometimes. <laughs> Blam. We thought this was over? What the? Whoa. Yes, Caitlin. Pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops. <laughs> butter luck next time.
Okay, maybe we should do... If we can, we'll try and do different options here. So let's see. Okay. New idea. I greatly Party. enjoyed Dylan and Ryan kissing, but on, we already people, did that. So let's try and do other some other things. Tonight. Let's make some memories. Well, what do you have in mind? How about the ultimate game of secrets and lies, truth or dare, but Dylan style. Okay, house rules are, someone asks you truth or dare, then you choose, and then you do. And there's no ifs, ands, or buts. So, like, normal truth or dare? Yes. So we can, like, make people kiss? If they choose dare, yeah. As long as everyone consents, of course. Cool beans. I mean, keep it in your pants until it's your turn, but... <laughs> well, who does get to go first? Well, it's house steals, so... Abigail. Truth or dare? Um... Does she just pick? Truth. You really dodged a bullet, huh? All right. Here oh, goes. yeah, she gets the virgin question. Have you ever slept with anyone? Oh, I... Uh, I... Interrupt? Yeah. Hey, take it easy, man. That's too far. Come on. I, I'm not finished. Um, have you ever slept with anyone at this camp? <laughs> no. Nope. Sorry. All right, Abby, it's your turn. <laughs> All right, okay. Um... She asks uh, Kate. Abby, right? oh my god, just pick someone. Okay, okay. Um uh, I don't know. Ugh. Ding ding ding. Too late. My turn. Ah, uh, right. Ryan. Truth or dare. So he he got dare, right? And then he had to kiss Dylan? Yeah, so we'll go truth. Truth. I'm an open book. Okay, okay. Let's get right down to it. Let's do. You and Mr. Hackett. Here we go. <laughs> what were you doing in his office? <laughs> the hag of Hackett's quarry. We were talking about her. The hag <laughs> oh, of <brother>. Hackett's quarry. <laughs> <laughs> you asked me to stop telling ghost stories. This is all. You don't really believe that, do you? Uh, I try to look at things through a certain lens, no expectation or judgment. Look, do I believe there's a little old ghost lady floating around trying to eat people? Well, well um, but she eats people now? But it's kind of fun to imagine it, right? Just don't get eaten tonight. It, like, really put a damper on the mood. Do my best. Alrighty, who shall so I he pick? picks well, uh, Kate and Jacob haven't gotten a turn yet. Good point. Ooh, I could do Jacob as well. Because we did Caitlin last time, right? Let's go Jacob. Alright, Jacob, let's see what you're made of. Oh, there. There, man, come on. Okay. I dare you to take a Flying leap over that fire pit. Oh. Naked. What? Oh, dude! Fuck yes! Oh, I will jump over this thing. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's a good idea. Too late. There go the clothes. No, oh, no, Jacob. Wait. Don't do it. Stop. Dude, I say veto. You're gonna fuck yourself up. <laughs> what? <laughs> No, come on, man, I got this. Brian, come on. <laughs> the legs poking out. Fine, Vito. You know what? Fuck this game. All right. <clears throat> Someone else can go. <laughs> okay, fine. Then I call your turn. <clears throat> Whatever. He was ready to do it. Emma. There. Uh, it happens anyway. Emma, yeah. so you have to kiss. Jacob? Or... Uh. <laughs> well then. Um. Uh. Sorry. 
Nick, this is not uh, even there, obviously. I don't know if that's a good this. idea. I choose Nick. Ah, uh, so it happens anyway. Interesting. M? Seriously? Guys. Well, I mean, Nick obviously goes along with it, too. Nick could have vetoed this. Guys! Thank you, Nick. He's good. Oh, Emma. You like kissing my girlfriend, asshole? It was just a game. Hey, I'm nobody's <laughs> girlfriend. The fuck it was. It was just a game. Yeah, the fuck it was, man. Jacob, grow up. Well, I guess I should probably <sighs> go after him. You should probably go find Abby. So, well, anybody want to play part Jeezy? <laughs> Caitlin likes the drama. She knows what she did. You can play innocent all you like, but you definitely set this up on purpose. Fuck this. <laughs> ah, here we go. Welcome back. I am, as always, delighted that you're here. I'm trying to remember what I did chapter-wise so, originally. I did what more has been prologue done? one, then two and three. So we just man. did two. <laughs> And then four, the five, six are really short surrender. chapters. And then and seven, eight, nine, ten. So yeah. Gain a new perspective. So look carefully and consider that sometimes one needs to be strung up in order to let go. But these are just words. There's more to show you. If you'll let me. I think I'll do one more chapter for today. And then we'll continue tomorrow. I think it's gonna have to be three streams. I think it's a pretty lengthy playthrough. Ah, Bobby letting him That's go. That's all I have to say for now. Secrets remain buried and the night grows darker. I'll see you again, you can count on that. Be careful. Where the wolves go, the ravens I follow. wish I could go to like, chapter five to be like that's the halfway point but i think that would be quite a lot okay we need to find the no swimming sign stupid game what are we in middle school why should i even care anyway, and the tower card stupid. oh that says abby stupid. i think great where the hell am i okay when playing as Abigail at the start of chapter 3, follow the path through the woods until she begins to hear voices. Following a short cutscene, continue a short distance, the camera angle will change. <gasps> oh, there she is. Ooh. It wants me to go to the back there, but that's like, oh, yes, got it. The tower, jump free of your troubles, fight or flight. That's the question we all ask ourselves, but often when leaping out of danger, we're still faced with certain peril. Watch your step, it could be your last. Okay, now we can continue. And then the no swimming sign, I think, is as Jacob. Uh -oh. Abby? Abby? You out here? Abby? 
Yeah, why not? Nick! Abby? Shout again! I'm over here! I'm coming, coming! Nick! Hey. Time for action. Hey. Um. Hi. You, uh... Is there anything I should avoid doing? Or can she get through this pretty easily? What if you don't kiss? Yeah, we could try that. Evasive. Sorry. The smoke. You know, from the fire, I just needed some air. Don't fail yeah, the whole breath. Yeah, I know breath. what you mean. Yeah. The smoke can get pretty intense, huh? Mm -hmm. You didn't have to run away, though. Um, correct. Guess Emma's had a thing for you all along, huh? What? No, 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 no way. She was just trying to make Jacob jealous. I was just playing along. You seem to enjoy playing along. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed helping Emma make Jacob jealous. That's about it. Nope. The moment will pass. <laughs> I don't think Emma was the mastermind here. Then who? Caitlin. Well, Caitlin. All of them, I guess, but mostly Caitlin. She's sneaky. Huh. Truth or dare is a stupid game, right? Stupid game. <laughs> um. Dismissive. Totally stupid. We're not 12. Who cares what anyone does? Or did. Right. Right. Besides, you never really get to kiss the person you want in these dumb games anyway. <laughs> Do they kiss anyway? You remember the second or third day of camp when we were assigned to take our cabins down to the island ropes course together? Yeah, that was when we met. Mm hmm. Uh, Do you remember that camper? Is that a, a little accident on the course? <laughs> He was so embarrassed. I thought his life was over. I had to take him to get cleaned up before anyone noticed. Well, except you, I guess. Thanks for not telling anyone. That wasn't actually the first time we met. We met at orientation on the first day. We did? Yeah, there was like a million people. <laughs> um, but honestly, you kind of seem like a dick. Hmm. Huh. I said hi, and you barely acknowledged me. Shit. I'm sorry. I've seen most counselors make fun of their campers. Tease them a little. Jacob does it. Emma kind of does it, too. But you don't. I've had my moments. I'm not proud of some of the stuff I've done. Stop following you. Should we be mean? Uh, let's not be too mean. Everyone has their moments. But a moment like that day at the ropes course? We'll save that for the asshole How playthrough. You know what? You know I wanted to kiss you? Really? I didn't realize that. Oh. At the time. I'm not the best at expressing my inner emotions or whatever, but... I'm glad you told me. So... So I'm saying that I like you too, or whatever. <laughs> that was actually a very nice little bit of conversation that you miss completely if they kiss. Oh, Nick, I'm so sorry. Yeah. 
Yeah, that felt much more genuine than actually just kissing. Boy, here we go. Uh, you can try and help him. Oh my god. Why not? Time to run. Time to run. I forgot how this goes. Wait, who are they shooting? Who, which werewolf is this? Should I just hide? Oh, didn't see this before. Stay low. Keep that booty low. You got this. Just don't climb the tree. We know that's pointless. Or do we die otherwise? Well, find out. Okay, time to hide. <laughs> Just take a squat, you know. Pop a squat, you'll be fine. Definitely Caleb. It's Silas. Yeah, I think Caleb is still at the junkyard. It could be Kaylee. No, it can't be Kaylee. Because Kaylee gets shot right before Nick turns. If it was Kaylee, then Nick wouldn't turn. It's a fun game. Has to be Caleb then. Or Silas, yeah. Oh, a no swimming sign. That's why the kids never found out about the hikers underwater. Because they never swim in the water. They're not allowed to. Oh, that makes sense now. It's probably Silas, yeah, because they were shooting at it. Technique needs work. Trying to kill it. Hey. Uh, yeah. I guess you found me that. Of course. <sighs> Sneaking down here was a little more fun when we thought we could get caught, huh? Yeah, I, uh, I guess. Jacob, they didn't know Silas I was thought around. we agreed that True. this, us, it's just supposed to be some summer fun. Yeah, no, no. I know, I just... You just love having an audience, huh? Jacob. I mean, you do, I can't believe you, you fucking Frenched him! 
you know, in front of everyone. Jesus wept. Friends, are we 12? No, but Nick is. Kind of. You know, I love the guy, but I don't think he's actually ever seen a girl naked before. Well, I hate to break it to you, but he just had his tongue down my throat, and he definitely knew what to do with it. <laughs> you, you really love fucking with me, huh? Lighten up, Sourpuss, please. This is not how the night was supposed to go. What? You know what? Nothing. No Nothing. Never mind. Hey, that's mine. Yeah, well, finders keepers. I'm getting it back tomorrow. Hmm. Fine. You can stand here, sulking. Driving yourself crazy imagining Nick's tongue in my mouth. Oh, come on. Or you can go grab us some towels. What do you need towels for? Well, we agreed. Some are fun, right? Well, apparently, summer is not that massive moon. <laughs> so big. Earth would be in so much trouble if the moon was actually that big. <laughs> okay, so now we have to find the no swimming sign. Does anyone know whereabouts it is? The sign is in between the between the decks. Oh, that one. How do we look at it? Wait, from here. Found it? No. I guess you're gonna get all cold and trivly, aren't you? Well, just give me a minute. Look upstairs. <laughs> He's like, oh yeah, that makes sense. Oh, right. Oh, without supervision. Oh, we'll so they can that. swim in the lake. Oh, confusing. Okay, no swimming sign. Done. And tower. Done. The card. So, chapter three, all wrapped up. We're good. That's everything. Isn't there something we can read here? There's the newspaper. Let's have a look. Huh. It's not long ago. Wonder if it was near here. The search continues for Anne Radcliffe and Edward Benson, who were reported missing four months ago after they failed to return from a camping trip. Despite multiple thorough searches of the area surrounding North Kill, authorities have been unable to uncover any evidence that the two hikers were ever there in the first place. Though a small number of conspiratori conspiratorialists conspiratorialists suggest their disappearance could be some sort of government cover-up most speculate that they fell victim to an animal attack possibly a bear or cougar local wildlife expert helen pratt however is certain that isn't the case as there are too many inconsistencies when compared with the history of documented attacks though it doesn't happen often when a bear does attack a human there are usually quite obvious signs left behind blood remains or torn clothes or belongings Helen went on to suggest an alternative fate for the missing hikers. The local area can be treacherous if not properly traversed. It's far more likely that Benson and Radcliffe were washed into fast-moving rapids. The families of the missing pair, on the other hand, dismiss these speculations, adamant that Anne and Ed were experienced hikers who always prepared for any eventuality when out on trails. They remain hopeful that Anne and Edward are still alive and well and urge anyone who may have seen them to reach out and get in touch with any information they may have. Interesting. We finally read it. Hmm. What are these numbers? Manageable but unsustainable? Hmm. 
Reminders for counselors. Keep all boats rinsed after use. No swimming. Oh yeah, so no swimming. Properly store boats to avoid damage. All campers must wear life jackets. If boat capsize, remove kits from lake immediately. Do not jump in after that. Sail over and retrieve from water. Hmm. So they didn't want people in the water. <laughs> hey, Max. Oh. <laughs> it's so obvious now. Yeah, I'm gonna go with probably everything's fine. God damn it. There's no towels. None? There's exactly zero. I mean, if they didn't want anyone to swim, anyway. I guess maybe there were some towels for after being in the boats. Hello, Emma. Okay, well, I guess we could just, like, drip dry or... You, know, you could shake it out doggy style. Wow, you really know how to talk to a girl, don't you? Well, <laughs> Look, you can't just pretend that it didn't happen. He's pretending to take his clothes oh, off, but, but it doesn't can, happen. Because you see, oh help, help! I'm, I'm drowning, and I, I need a big, strong, not at all insecure man to come save me. <laughs> Let's play nice for now. We'll okay. play. We'll play awful next time. What's this? <laughs> a female in need? Fear not, fragile thing, for Hurricane Jake is here! Cannonball! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Cold, cold, cold. Oh, cold. Oh. <laughs> Hurricane Jake. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, now you're gonna get it. See? <laughs> hey, switch! Oh, stop being a uh, You're asked for it. Here it comes. <laughs> Careful with that barbed wire underwater. <laughs> Dick move. Um, let's try flirting right. this time. Look, check this out. Uh, okay. Take a picture of me. Uh, uh, yeah, for your like, um, Little subscribers or whatever, top ten guys who will keep you satisfied at summer camp. <laughs> oh my god, we got a show! <laughs> what? <laughs> she just swims off. That was weird. Well, he doesn't have a car part now Come that he on. can lose. Jacob, over here! Did you hear that? What? Uh, it was like a, like a scream. And it, it sounded like Abby, but like not the good kind of a scream. I can't hear you. Okay, look, just, just hold on. I'm gonna go check it out. What? Seriously? Oh, he just runs off immediately. You don't get a choice this way. Hmm. Interesting. Campfire pit. Okay. That was some mighty fine social disruption there, Caitlin, I have to say. 
Ah, or is it just the nudge that Abby needed? You're an evil genius. Who do you think is gonna make the first move? Nick or Abby? Ooh, good cue. My bet's on either. <laughs> I don't know, Nick's got the beast in him. Uh, if by beast you mean some sort of mild-mannered baby deer. <laughs> hey, don't let the cute, preppy aesthetic fool you. It's like a steel barbecue grill under that shirt. <laughs> so, you noticed that too, huh? So, what do you guys want to do now? We can keep playing. Yeah? Just the three of us? Alright, Dylan. Truth or... I sound like Abby. Oh my gosh. We gotta help her. <laughs> Wait, where did it come from? This way. Come on. <laughs> Go, Dylan. Abby! Help! Please! Nick! Help him! Where's Nick? I love the sound effects in the background. <laughs> Go after Nick! Go! Okay. I've got this. That shotgun's got a hell of a spread. Be careful. <laughs> Can't stop doing it now. Okay. Okay. Alright. Let's go, Ryan! God, I cannot wait to kill all of them. It's gonna be so fun. We have to come up with like ways that we haven't seen yet. Um, I just. I took the shortcuts last time. I don't know if it matters. He still does the same path. Um, yeah, I don't think it matters. I'll just follow the path, see what the different outcome is. I don't think it does like... Um, damn, everything goes wrong for you, doesn't it? Um, oh, he hurt his ankle now! Oh shit! Did you see that? He limping. Interesting. So you get punished for taking the long way around. Oh, right. Wait, can we kill Bobby here? Should we kill Bobby? He does, sh he does stab Brian later. Shout, then shoot. Okay. Hey! Get the fuck off of him! Stop! Stop! I'll shoot! He just walks it off, huh? Holy shit, dude. Oh, not, not, not. Hey, hey, can you walk? Jack, gotta go. Bobby doesn't give a fuck. Yeah, he was just like, oh, that tickled. And then just was like, okay, I'll, I'll go. I thought I was gonna kill him, but he just walks it off. He dropped something important. Yeah, I picked up a shell, didn't I? Stupid, stupid, stupid. You really should have just gotten dressed first, dude. Naked girl waiting for you back there, Jacob. What are you doing? Okay. Uh, 
Piggy? Oh yeah, Piggy gets okay. killed. This also frustrates me. There's a thing here where it's like yell or don't yell. Call out. And then I I said don't call out. Because obviously you want to be stealthy. But then he calls out anyway? Because obviously you don't want to say... You don't want to give away your location. Oh, he's still wearing the bracelet from oh. Emma. Huh. All right, this bit. Uh, it doesn't. It's not gonna do anything, but might as well do it. Shit! I wonder if I could do that. I wonder if I'd have the ab strength to reach for my feet. I don't think I would. <laughs> hey, Bobby. Um, I'm not with Ryan. Just so you know. Please. I'm a good guy. Please, just, I'm really nice. Down, okay? Just don't hurt me, please. Oh, Jesus Christ, what the fuck are you doing? God, son of a bitch. What are you gonna do? Oh, what are you doing? Shh. Quiet. Yeah, he's gonna do the blood thing, right? That'll be fine. Helps if you close your eyes. Oh, oh. What are you doing? Shh. Stop. Help. Shh. Help. Tastes bad, don't it? It's for your own good. Just tell him it's camouflage. Where are you off to now, girly? At least he's still nice to Jacob, even though he just got shot. What the fuck? It might be the thing, what fuck. they said, where it's like the gun barely does anything because the spread is so big. Um, so he kind of like probably got a couple pellets in his chest, but that's about it. Like they didn't go deep. Maybe. Seems like just a blink and you're back to see me again. So, then, what have we got? Girly might be Kaylee. It's oh, yeah, you might be tracking star. Kaylee, yeah. Stars. Yeah, it could just stars be Kaylee. No, no, we already said it could be Kaylee. Beacons of light. So, dreams of hope, purpose. Tower oh, is mind. the new oh, one. Fear of despair. Trust in the light of the star, with it comes clarity. <laughs> and sometimes... Who killed the music? <laughs> the tower. Jump free of your troubles. Fight or flight. That's the question we all ask ourselves, but... Often, when leaping out of danger, we're still faced with certain peril. Watch your step. It could be your last. Remember, there's always more than meets the eye. <laughs> Would you like me to show you? Yes, please. Yes, good. But I can only delve deeper into one possible future let's do so tower since it? that's the new one choose we can oh we can kill bobby back to ah. it then back to hackett's quarry should we back to hackett's quarry you go oh the fun you'll have 
I would like to prevent Ryan from betting, getting stabbed. When did the lodge choose run instead of hide? That was horrible. It was... It it was, I, I, I don't even know what it was. It was so fast and, and there, was a, uh, there was a hunter and it was just. Oh, Abby. Here. What? Oh, try drawing. Drawing what? Oh, uh, can you draw what attacked you? He looks so bad. Hey, buddy. Can you tell us what happened? Does it matter oh, whether I apply pressure on the wound or not? Where's Happy? He's super out of it, man. We need to know what happened. All right. There was I just heard him. <laughs> there was a guy there, but there was some kind of some kind of animal. The hell? What fucking kind of animal does this? Yeah, I think I think they tried to give the werewolves fur, but it, it probably bugged out too much, so they made them naked instead. I think I could be wrong though. No way. I thought we don't get bears around here. Oh fuck! Look at that! Oh shit! That black stuff? That's that's infection. That's and it's it, it's spreading. This is bad. This is really bad, dude. Oh yeah, I love the look though. Their faces are really scary. Ryan. We should amputate. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> amputate. <laughs> There's no way you're gonna cut off a whole leg. Why would we do that? I don't know, man. Look at that black stuff. What what do you think it is? <laughs> Do I look like a doctor? <laughs> it is so funny that that goes back to back. It's like, hmm, amputate. Why? Do I look like a doctor to you? I just said amputate. <laughs> Did you guys notice that when you cut off the hand with the chainsaw, the chainsaw says groovy on it? Should we... I don't remember. Oh yeah, Jacob shows up, doesn't he? He's there. Ryan, what if it's Jacob or Emma? What if it's not? Groovy. That's two. Be careful. That's two references to Evil Dead in this game. There's probably more. It was probably nothing. Yeah, but is it gone? Yeah, you better run. Very brave. All right. So, uh, Lodge is sounding pretty good right about now, yeah? I think Nick just transforms anyway. Oh, is that Jacob? Oh, no, 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 no. Don't shoot, ah, don't shoot. you could see him in the bushes. I'm here to save you. Ah. Holy shit. Nick. Is he okay? Can you kill him there? Abby were attacked. In the woods. Hey, does anybody have any dry clothes? I'm, I'm fucking freezing. All our bags are still in the minivan. Oh, fuck, of course they are. It does look like Ryan's wearing two shirts, though. I could probably give you one of them. Um. Jacob, where's Emma? You can shoot him. Fuck! Oh, mm. Jesus Julian Christ. shot him? Uh, no! I left. Oh no! Oh, How did Julian do? He finished it, right? Ouch. How many died? Wait, the island? Yeah, why? Oh, no, I just. I just thought I saw someone over there before. <laughs> Julian oh, <what>? went hard. <laughs> no, I, you know, I, I don't know. It's, it's probably nothing. I left her out there alone. Well, I think we're gonna head to the lodge. Also, why are you covered in... True Aries, yeah. Strawberry jelly. 
Oh, yeah, no. Um, I'm pretty sure it's blood. It was this guy with like a, he had like a bottle. Thing. I don't know, dude. It's like a really long story. Killed Jacob Ew. using the bear trap. Ooh. Yeah. No, it's super fucked up. I gotta go get Emma. Uh, excuse me. Hey, I need this, okay? It's not safe out there. Dude, we gotta protect Nick and Abby. Yeah, and I need to save Emma, all right? She's out there alone. You don't even know if she's in trouble. You don't even know if you're in trouble. Are you trying to piss me off? No, I'm trying to save my girlfriend's life, asshole. Yeah, I don't think she's your girlfriend, dude. What? Get. Oh, yeah, if you let go, he gets hit in the face, right? mess here guys you're acting like pricks both of you jacob we're keeping this nick and abby are injured we need protection there's someone around here <laughs> ryan i did let go last time yeah this is bullshit make sure she's safe if she's on the island she's definitely fine and what risk another run in with captain deliverance no thanks okay there's probably another i didn't catch it last line. time Either captain way, deliverance i can make it to the <laughs> island from there we need to get back to the lodge. Weren't we talking about that recently? How oh, awful Deliverance is? I mean, it's it's a good movie, but yeah, it's so awful what happens in it. I, I've never been able to finish the movie. I, I, I sat down to watch it once, not knowing what happened in the movie. I got to that scene, and I was like, oh, God, I can't watch this. And I turned it off. Here's a riddle for you. What's got two thumbs... And is suddenly riding solo on a freaky island in the dark. This fool. You don't want to know what it's about. One thumb, it's awful. One like, thumb. It's, it's really horrible okay. what happens in the movie. And it was here, on this strange, uninhabited island, that this brave young soul found herself. That's a nice shot. Okay, full disclosure. I've suddenly found myself on a... A strange, tiny little island, all alone with nothing to do but show you guys around. So, Wait, we're not in chapter four yet, there. are we? I'm gonna go and see if I can't dish out some of that sweet, sweet. It doesn't say. Panoramic goodness. We're still in chapter. Th I'm in chapter here's, four. Here's the thing. Not that I want to go back because I don't. But oh fuck, I missed I did, it. Okay. I can't because then I'd look like the super needy one when he was the one who who stormed off. In Police the first car place. keys, box of matches, no, sorry, magician I'm card. Oh fuck! Explore I was not paying enough attention. You know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. To the treehouse, fellow explorers. Um, magician card. Return down the set of stairs that leads to the dock. I knew it. I remembered something like that. Oh, Jedediah. Oh, he was quick. He was like, ah, fuck, she saw me. <laughs> oh, got a good butch out there. Magician. Incredible, unbelievable, mystical, sensational, perceptive manipulation. The work of a magician. Now you see it, now you don't. Blink and you miss it. And you wouldn't want to miss it. Okay. Now, let's see. Police car keys. Treehouse. Police car keys is one of two clues on the island you can potentially miss. Playing as Emma, you'll be given a choice to take the low path through the woods or the high path. To ensure the police car keys, highly recommended you get the box of matches first. Okay. The end of the low path behind an extinguished fire campfire. Oh, the campfire. That's the smoke. Do not climb the ladder after that. Instead, return to the wooden walk walkway bridge. Okay, let's do that. Where does this go? This is actually kind of fun. I feel like this is the first time I've been alone all summer. Kind of like it. 
I guess that kind of reinforces the whole Jacob thing. I know the plan was for him to come get me, but now that I'm by myself, I kind of like it. Sorry, Jacob, if you're watching. Nothing personal. It's a me thing. We're cool, right? Hmm. Yeah, we're cool. Reflective. I mean, who knows? Maybe in 50 years we'll bump into each other and be flooded with fond memories of that one amazing summer at Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. And that spark that changed our lives forever. And we'll be like... It's just not the memories that you think of. ...and have crazy walker sex. <laughs> hey, it could happen. Only time will tell, Jakey boy. And as they say, time makes fools of us all. But we will be the oldest, sexiest fools there ever were. <laughs> Until then, I gotta do my thing. Sorry, buddy. Wait, so there's the ladder. Where's the campfire? Oh, there. Hmm. Thinking about it. How could this have been Mr. H when he was back at the lodge? Mm hmm. Quoth. Box of matches from the motel. A few matchsticks have been snapped off, and there are marks on the striking surface. Someone used them. Gotcha. The Raven Nevermore. Okay, let's try and get the keys. I don't remember where this chapter ends. You guys know? Okay, so to get the other car, the keys, we're gonna walk back, like the guide said. And take the high road. I wonder... Oh, the ladder goes inside the treehouse? Is that it? Wait, the sound played. Did we see a lady somewhere? She's this as cold as ice. <laughs> Not too shabby. Well, literally is too shabby. But these views, oh man, you're gonna blow your tots. There's also a zip line, which eh, I guess you can watch me crap my pants on that thing. What the hell? I'm here, aren't I? I'm gonna carpe this DM so damn hard it won't know what hit it. First, I I kind of wish there. and there's still so much to talk about. I know it's like a I'm asking for too much detail, but I kind of wish that they did the thing. You know how some people put their phone in their bra cuz they don't have any pockets? I really wish that they showed that that's where she like that the phone's like sticking out of her bra. Like that's where she puts it when she doesn't use it. It would be kind of like a good explanation. Um compassion I hope Abby's okay. She ran off earlier. If you didn't see it, I kind of sort of made out with Nick. But it was a dare. I'm not like a bitch or anything. Oh, and for context, kind of a beach. Abby likes Nick. Well, actually, they like each other. In truth, I just wanted to fan the flames a little. Watching them stumble around each other like drunk jellyfish was exhausting. Poor kid was like a deer in headlights. It's cool, though. They're smart. They'll get it. I bet they're out there in the woods right now, just absolutely going for it. Okay, we're almost there. There's nothing else to find here, right? Oh, a zip line. Oh, just to there. Okay, so don't go in. Oh, I thought she went in the door. I was like, oh my god. Car keys. Police car keys. Oh, uh, from the car that they dumped. One of those. I'm Ew. Hmm. Sorry, officer. I have no idea what you're talking about situation. Cool. We got them. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave those right there. Police car keys, box of matches, done. And we got the magician car, right? Yeah. 
Cool. That's chapter four sorted. Can you see anything in there? Let's get her dressed. And here we are, as promised. One extremely rickety and even more underwhelming treehouse. In another world, perhaps young Jacob and I would settle down here. Yeah, house now that I think about it, it's funny that she steals Honey, Max's I'm clothes home. when Laura's now? clothes are also in there. The children's bedtime. Well now, that's a fine how do you do. Maybe she's against wearing pink. <laughs> Take it all in, folks. That's the summer camp experience. Maybe she's like, right maybe she's like that's look, so not my color. Somebody. You forgot to clear the place out. I guess one of the kids left their stuff, or maybe one of the guys back there. But I don't recognize this. <laughs> Did you hear that? Looks like we have a choice on our hands. Do we snoop through someone else's belongings, or do we open? The spooky trap door and die. A horrible pit People saying I go up the ladder. I mean, yeah, we're going for a save all run, guys. We need to check the bag first. Bag it is. And you know what? I'm putting some clothes on. This is all. I'm not gonna getting. waste my precious rewinds on stuff that we know. So anyone know where chapter four ends? I don't know how close I am. Hmm. <laughs> She's like, yeah, I can work with this. Okay, so I think there's something up there. And yeah, for the kill all, I'll have to really look into I how they can die. Much. Pick the most interesting ones. If only she hadn't checked. <sighs> The hatch. Goodbye, cruel world. The final curtain is calling, and there's no time for an encore. Okay, here we go. After the zipline. Okay. Taser. Oh, that face is so good. Yeah, do it. Why not? We'll collect our evidence. Now run. Okay. She's quick when she wants to be. Oh god. I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it. Yeah. Go! Keep going. Go! Spray him. That's what I'm telling you guys, Emma MVP. The fact that she thinks of all of that as she's running away. Takes a picture, defends herself. She's awesome. Go up, go up, go up. Oh, oh god. Okay. <sighs> I love how that one toolbox is going to stop him. <laughs> Easy. Oh, got oh they used the wheelbarrow. Okay. Are you in pain? No, no, sorry. I'm just I'm really hungry. I'll get you some food inside, okay? Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Maybe we should just leave it here. Oh, it did just save, I'll right? Give you a horse. Well, I don't know if we'll be able to find you a horse, but maybe some granola. Oh, yuck, hungry you. for people. He's thinking about the medium rare buns. One more the talk station. section, There's then the next zip there. line, then so chapter end. Okay, let's do it. Now. Let's push for that then. I'll get you something to eat. 
Wait, was that the lady in the background you on the stairs? Up on a landline. Oh, uh, yeah. I think I saw um, her. Isn't there one in Mr. H's office? Yep. We'll come meet you. Copy that. Oh yeah, she's standing right there. What? She was so clear. I really hope they're gonna be okay. Do you think that whatever's left in the nurse's office is gonna cut it? Caitlin knows what she's doing. Does she? I, I mean, she wasn't even supposed to be working at the nurse's office this summer. She only filled in because some other girl didn't show up. No. Oh. Laura was supposed uh, to work in the nurse's office. That makes sense. Let's go call for backup. Cause she has her training. It's, it's pretty weird. It's to vet see training, but still. You never came down here at night while camp was in session. What? No. Did you? A couple times. A couple yeah. times. Yeah. Where are you going? I, 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 I thought I just heard my name. I didn't hear anything. I can't believe they leave the doors open. That doesn't make any sense. I don't think Nick's injuries are as bad as we thought. Mm. Well, that's good news. Yeah. So what now? We got a call for help. Who should I call? Uh, Mr. H? The only number I got is to this phone. Okay, then 911. You mean 911? Who says 911? <laughs> I don't know. I... Anyway, yeah, but like. I wonder what, what his tattoo looks like for? on his shirt. Police, like just ambulance. under his short there. Huh. See that? I wonder what it is. Cops with guns. We need a lot of backup out here. So they'll say, 911, what's your emergency? And then I say, uh, help, my friends may have been They're overthinking bear, this too much. They'll ask you questions. Just answer their questions. And we're not sure how many there are out there or how smart they are. So it's very possible they might be mounting an attack on us right now. And we really need backup. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's good. Okay. This is like me trying to avoid a phone call, being like, what do I say? <laughs> What's wrong? Then they'll ask me this. What do I say then? Like, how do you even do a phone call? Um... Well, that's weird. Phones go dead sometimes out here. Right when you're about to call the cops, though? It's a coincidence. <laughs> Did you try the hang up thingy? What? The hang up thingy. What are you doing? I don't know. It's what they do in movies when the phone goes dead. You tap on the little thingy. We're not in a movie. Okay. Well, you know. It was how worth do you know shot. that? Maybe that's just what they want you to think, man. It's probably Bobby because he's walking. He's walking through the house okay, in a so bit, this right? This phone's a no go. No one has signal. Is there anywhere else in the camp that has a landline? Well, not a landline. What? The radio hut has some old broadcast gear. Where, where you do your announcements? Where I curate my sweet summer jams, yeah, and where I do the PA <laughs> announcements. It has some old equipment there. I think we could probably break something up and get a message out. All right, yeah. Let's, let's head over there and see if we can contact somebody. Put that back, Dylan. Hmm. I will put it back when we're good and safe and help is on the way. Uh, okay, just careful with it. So I'll Dylan back. can shoot Bobby? Okay. Uh, it's, it's probably the weather. What weather, Ryan? Maybe, maybe it was the bears. I, I feel like it was Bear. a bad choice and to make Ryan the skeptical one. Okay. So Since he listens to the podcast and everything, it would be that uh, 
It would make so much more sense for his character to be like, it's werewolves from the start. And then the rest of the group being like, come on, man. Thank you. Like, you've been listening to too many podcasts. It's not supernatural. That would have made more sense, I feel. Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> He's ready. Oh my god. <laughs> Bobby can only be killed by Nick about or by Werewolf Chris. Okay. Okay. Do you think she really needs it though? Uh she needs it just as much as we do. She's staying in the lodge. We're going out there. You literally just said there might be something dangerous in the lodge. When? Like 20 seconds ago. Okay, sure. But that's because I really wanted the gun. Just get rid of the gun, <laughs> man. <laughs> Dylan is amazing. Hey, I get it. Uh, all right. You're right. Hey, we'll still have mine. If you're extra nice to me, I'll, I might let you hold it. Don't write a check that your ass can't cash. <laughs> My ass has got quite the bank account. <laughs> Am I interrupting something? <laughs> I was just about to give you this gun. Chin up, big guy. It, I wouldn't really know what to do with it, okay? I trust you. Oh, thank you so much, Dylan. You're so generous and handsome. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Don't mention it. <laughs> okay. So Nick can... I, oh, yeah, it was don't choose to hide, choose to run, right? Do you guys know here, if you rush it, does the thing break? Is that why you need to take it easy? With the the zip line. You can go fast. You'll die. Yeah, I've done slow before and survived, so I'll just go slow. We know it's that's that's one way to survive. We'll try and rush it um, in the next playthrough, I guess. We'll do like all the risky stuff. Max just wants a friend. Yeah. Yee! So creepy! Max really is the creepiest looking one. Oh god, just go! Oh! Ooh. she does that? Why does she jump in the water instead of just going to the end of the line? Maybe it seemed safer in that moment. Softer landing. Safer on your legs. Yeah, it is dark. She probably doesn't know where the line ends. Bye, Max. See you later. Ah, here we are. Perfect. So that was chapter four. Oh, good. Chapter to five good next. To see you. Huh. We only missed I'm one again, clue in chapter five, and that's it. Nothing else. Strength. Then six, one clue and one card. Strength can be surprising. Seven, we only Young missed a card. Eight, we missed two clues Tapping and a card. It. Tapping into a previously unknown Nine, energy. one clue and two cards. There are forces That's that it. work with us all. So. And with one hand it gives, and with the other it could rip away. The magician! 
The magician is new. Yeah. The incredible, the unbelievable, the mystical, sensational. Perceptive manipulation. Itchy tattoo. The work of a magician. Now you see it, now you don't. Blink and you miss it. And you wouldn't want to miss it. As always, there's more to see. And as always, the choice is yours. Would you like to see more? Obviously. Choose one. Choose wisely. So strength we've had before. So let's see the magician. <laughs> There's the groovy. Damn. Should we just take off his hand just so in case? Goodbye again. We I know he pretty much makes it without the hand. Remember who your friends are. Remember who's looking out for you. Because otherwise he transforms, right? Oh wait, he was gonna transform at the junkyard, so that's pretty much fine. Well, I think we did pretty good. We made it to chapter 5. Um, That's pretty good, right? There's like 4 hours left. So we can definitely finish it next stream. Awesome. I'm so glad that we're getting like all the things, even though it doesn't count for the game. It still counts in our hearts. Um, hopefully someday they patch it and it still counts, but... Um, like, I... It's not so much... It's nice seeing it all complete in the game, but it's more about us seeing everything. Like, we've seen the other things in the playthrough, so... Like, I just want to see everything, even if the game doesn't count it as 100%. I just want to see the things, so... I'm happy that now we know, like, how to read the newspaper articles, and we're just getting, like, the last of the cards we haven't seen and the clues. So... It's all good. Um, but yeah, no one's dead... yet. So, first stream is a success. 